Well, just name one positive thing, one happy thought before I move to the next day. Give me one uh, happy thought. Well, uh, Abamian came on at the fifth minute and he came off at the 66th minute. <laughs> Jenny Talia reporting. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 can I, can I, can I, can I, can I go next? I think Cristiano Ronaldo is the greatest European of all time. Can I, can I, can I, and I want to say R9 just because uh, you, I actually rate him high at HH. It's just that you, you always say that he, he had a grenade tossed to his ankle and he floated or some type of stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, bro. It's the kid, 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 it's the kid. We're here, we're live, we're here, we're live, we're here, we are live, we are here, we are alive and well, we are alive and well, man. So, guys, let's tell you what's going to happen in this whole Sunday show, man. Guys, we're going to talk about the ghoul. We're going to talk about the ghoul, Ardor Ghoul, the Turkish Messi, as they call him. He scored his debut goal. What does this mean? Have Real Madrid found their next great, amazing talent? Or is it just all debut goal hype? We're going to talk about Ibrahim Diaz taking his talents to marrakesh he has chosen morocco over spain what does that mean and how will our man ak react to that news leverkusen these guys are still unbeaten are leverkusen about to do a freaking um, invincibles and we're going to talk about your boy verse smash and we know we're going to talk about your boys verse and what this means for you for your boy verse and once we're doing that with now you see guys this is the last of the second leg before the quarterfinal draw on friday barcelona against napoli i fear for them Arsenal against FC Porto, PSV against Dortmund, and of course, Atletico Madrid against Inter Milan. So it's a big, big, big week coming up um, before we go on that international break. So guys, you know what it is, guys. Because like the vid, subscribe if you're new, get your meal, get your drink, get your fire chick, only fans, and feel free to send in a super chat. Remember, guys, your super chats and your Dubinskis help to keep the channel growing, alive, well, swell, and help me to pay this overpriced bomb-ass energy bills, man. So... Um, let's, 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 let's start with this one. So, thing guys is this man, there's been a, there's been a lot said. There's been a lot said about a certain dude. There's been a lot said about a certain dude. And it's of course the ghoul, Ardo Guler. And we've now been able to see that, um, this dude, the ghoul, he scored his debut goal, and he's been hyped. Let's keep, let's keep, let's keep, keep, keep it a stack. This guy has been hyped. He's been hyped a lot, and he's been seen as the, as the coming, the next coming, the coming of the next, the next great person. And I'm always fearful when players are a bit hyped too much because I'm like, you know, let them breathe, let them live, let them be able to say what's up, let these guys be able to say what's up, and let them be able to show what they can do off their own back. It was a nice goal. It was a real nice goal, and I'm happy to see him back because no young player, especially when you make such a big move to Real Madrid, wants to have to go through injuries upon injuries upon injuries upon injuries. Um, and look, we've all seen his comp compilations, but here's the, the reality here. The talent is there, but we all know how talented Pato was. We all know how talented some of these other guys were. We all know how talented Saviola was. Bro, do you know how talented Saviola was? Do you know what... Son um, Saviola's ceiling was Montalivio. Do you know how talented Ricardo Montalivio was? All because you have this great, amazing talent, which is what Ardo Gullet has, doesn't mean that you're going to fulfill it and be that great dude. So I think we always have to be very careful 
when we're trying to rate guys and try to say what's up to guys because we have to let this guy say what's up. What's Gule going to do? I have no, I have no idea. But the fact of the matter is that Bellingham has shown what he's been able to do. Now, he's been injured, so he hasn't been able to show things. But you know what I always say? Let a player do their talking on the pitch. Don't show me comps. Don't show me highlights. Don't do me show it's, it's similar to the whole Sancho thing. When people say, man, who's going to unlock Sancho? And he showed me a Sancho show from like 1747, bro. I'm like, no. Don't show me Sancho comps from 1747. Show me what Sancho did yesterday. What he did this morning. What he did this afternoon. So let me come to your boy, Barry. So Barry, should we be excited about what Guler is able to do if he's, he's fit? Do you think this is the next quality great player? Or are you like, ah, hang on, let's actually see what he's able to freaking do? Um, I'd say we hold back a little bit. Obviously, there's talent. He's a very good player. Uh, it, even us, Barca, we wanted him this summer. There was this whole thing where he had to choose between Madrid and Barca. He chose Madrid, but... um. I think when you look at Madrid right now, they have so many attacking weapons. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on. So, are you salty that he didn't choose Barca? Are, are you salty? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not 15 anywhere. I, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> tell that. that was good. This but, is good. This yeah. is good. But um, when you look at Madrid, they have so many options in the midfield and in the attack. So, I, I'm wondering how, how it's going to be with Madrid. Like, if they clinch the league like very early. Barca keep dropping points or Girona, if they clinch early, maybe we're going to see uh, more of him to determine if he's going to be like in the plans of Ancelotti next season. But I'd say maybe going on loan is maybe the best situation for him. Going to like a club like Dortmund, Leipzig, so he could develop his abilities and come back at Madrid a better player, more mature. I think that's the best thing that could happen for him. Go on loan. So, okay, so what do you, what do you think his ceiling is? Mm, he could be like one of the best in the world. That's the that's the kind of ceiling that I have for him. That yeah, because he can do everything pretty well in the offensive side of the things. Oh, okay, Great so you think that his ceiling is that he can be amongst one of the best players in the world, like basically Ballon d'Or. Yeah, sort of. Because like, when you look at him. Great passing, very good dribbling, IQ. So there's everything you want from a offensive standpoint. It's just about maturing and just getting your skills up with time, you know? Um, what's it called? Uh, AK, what are you saying about your boy? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, shout, shout out to Arda Gula. Um, I think uh, he's, he's not played a lot ever since he's come back from injury. I think... There are, you know, cameos where he's able to show his talent. Like, I remember he won a penalty when they were Madrid beat Girona. I mean, and he scored today. So, he is... One thing I do like about him is he's sort of maximizing the amount of minutes he's got. Like, he's not just coming into the field just to, you know, pass out and have a kick about. He's generally trying to maximize what he can do on the pitch and the amount of time he's got. I think... I, I so I do agree with Barry. I think you know he can he can you know if he goes on loan to a emerging like is he the next Messi? They're calling him the Turkish yeah, Messi. Is he no, the calm, Turkish calm, Messi? No, that, that that has to calm down a bit. I think you can't. No, bro, have, I'm, you, I'm saying that's what Twitter said. I'm just I'm just re, re nah, you, you saying what, what Twitter is saying. You, you can't say that. Like you know, Turkish fans they're quite you know. They're quite what, what's the word? They're quite f fanatic, so mm. they're always going to hype their players up to the max. But on, the thing is, like, you can't say anything about him right now. Personally, I think yeah, he does have to develop. Maybe going on loan is the best option because he's not going to get into the he's not going to get consistent minutes in the Madrid no. side. And look at like we're going to talk about him later. Look at Brahim Diaz. He went on loan to Milan. He came back to Madrid a better player. So, and Carvajal as well went on loan to Leverkusen. Came back to Madrid a better player. So, he could go to he could go on loan. He could, you know. But yeah, I think he's a ta he's a good, very talented player. But we have to see how he progresses. Um, what's it called? Uh, J T S. What do you think about the ghoul? Uh, he's either going to be an Odegaard type of player. Oh, he's going to be a DS type of player. Because don't forget, when Odegaard was signed for 100, he was 16. And mm. there's a lot of hype around this kid. Like, he was meant to be the next big thing because Norway don't produce a lot of great talents. And then they produce two in Odegaard and Holland in quick succession. But if he follow, if he wants to stay at Madrid and 
prove himself there, then he's going to go down the Diaz route. Go out on loan, prove yourself, then you're going to be a first-team player. But he might be an Odegaard. You might think, I can't get into this from this side. There's too many times because you're going to have Camavinga. Cruz is still here. I know Modric is going, but God, it, there's Bellingham still. If he's going to play in his actual midfield role, then there's too many. So you, you can have Camavinga, Bellingham, too many. It's probably going to be favourite midfield. Is Ardugula going to get in that midfield next year? So okay, so you're saying that he needs that you don't see him as a regular starter that he needs to go out on, on on loan. Yeah, if he wants to better his career, don't forget he's how old is he? He's 17, 18. He's pretty young. So go out on loan. Like this isn't if he doesn't get to Rome, just like it's not the end of the day. Mm. Like, he can still go out on loan. Go to another La Liga side. Maybe go to Real Sociedad. Maybe go to the Premier League. Maybe go to the Bundesliga. So, okay, Spencer. So what you're saying is that you don't see him reaching his potential in this Real Madrid team that he don't think he'll be good enough to hold on a place in, in this team? I mean, it's hard to do because how many players make it at Real Madrid this young? Not many. Because mm. I forget, Real Madrid is the pinnacle of football. Like, look at Odegaard. He wasn't cut out for it. But he's still a quality player at Arsenal. Is it, no, no, but okay, look, let's see. I do... I'm sort of coming here to agree with you, but... Bellingham. Clean. That sorted out. Vini, clean. That sorted out. Mbappe, we still don't know. Now, does Gule is Gule's position on the right side? I believe so. Or the, or the, or the left. But he's because, versatile. Because, because if it's on the right side, but now, great. If it's versatile, even better. That right side is still, there's a question mark because Rodrigo has not shown that he deserves to be a full starter. Valverde only plays there just because Rodrigo isn't efficient enough. So there really isn't a consistent guy on that right hand at attacking spots that they've been happy with. So I think that might be his only opening. Because Gullet he is getting anything on the left side. Yeah, but then he'll be, he'll be in contention with Diaz. Then. Which, at this moment in time, if it's between him and Diaz, Gula, if Gula has a shot if he stays mm. free of injury because it is a bit concerned this guy's only become fit until now. He's been out for most of the season due to injury. Like he was injured, came back to the frame, and then he got injured again. It's a worrying sign for him to get a lot of injuries, but let's see what he does. I still think he'll go out and learn. No, no, it's for me. Like, if he, I do, because this, I do agree with Alex, Alex B here, where that is a, if he is a right side, like a right sided, left footed, wide forward, that is something that's real need. And that is something that's real have not had a consistent guard. Because remember, like, Benzema, um, Bale, and Cristiano, you knew that, boom, clean. And if one guy goes out, it's cool, easily can, can come in. They are yet to have a guy where, okay, like, remember, even when Real won that UCL, it was really Benzema and Vinny. There really wasn't that consistent right side attack, and that's a guy that they've been fully missing. Now, the when Mbappe comes... Well, the, yes. AJ, the one thing as well is that, like, when he took a look at Odegaard, Odegaard outright said that, like, he couldn't get along with the dressing room at Madrid. One, the positive thing about this guy is the dressing room seems, from what we've seen, the dressing room seems to like him, which mm. that that's big. If you at Madrid, that's big. If if you if you have a, if you have a dressing room that you know appreciates your talent, then maybe that might make you more confident as a player that you can gain a starting position in this side. Compared to Odegaard, who said like he couldn't make friends at Madrid. No, that's not something wrong with Odegaard or Madrid. No. It just didn't work. No, no, it's true. I think yeah, because I think look, Real Madrid, it's a, it's a, the toughest place to su succeed. Hence, the, which is why when people say, "Oh my gosh, you're so so with, with with Bellingham," you have to take into context what Bellingham's done. Like there is no tougher place to succeed than Real Madrid, no place because the benchmark is at its highest, more than anywhere. So for young, so that's why so many players have failed coming to Real Madrid. So many guys have failed. So I feel that if by him coming in and being able to now say what's up, I do feel that. Um, it's actually like if he can succeed, it's even better. So it's really down to his character. So it's one thing where he gets along with the players, but it's it's two things. It's your, it's your character, how strong your character is, and just how good you are. Because really, as real, you have to hit the ground running. Because let's be real, we all insulted Vinny and everything, but Vinny wasn't totally hopeless. There was something there, and Vinny just kept on walking, walking, walking. That's why Vinny's character is second to none. So how you see, you know how Vinny is basically dealing with all this abuse and everything. You have to forget that. Bro, look at how much people are clowning Vinny. And everyone is saying, no, this guy ain't going to make it. He's useless. He's too young. They're going to 
selling his clothes on loan. He kept on walking, kept on walking, kept on walking. So if you're Ada Gule, stay fit, but you have to look at Vinny as like an inspiration where, bro, that's character that Vinny showed to still be able to work hard when I was the one that said, nah, this guy ain't freaking making it. This guy's garbage. Yeah. Look at where he's now. He's he's right now on form. I could be the best player in the world. So But can I can I say one thing before? Yeah, go for it, Barb. What's it? Yeah. But don't you think the circumstances for these two are a bit different? Because Vinny, he was one of the pieces of the rebuild just after the three peat. And Narda Guler, when you look at that Madrid team, they're close enough to really become that team that can really go on to challenge for multiple UCLs, La Liga. So maybe it's a bit different. For well, no, no, it's a bit different though. But again, and my question to you, Barry, is what about the right side? Do Real Madrid have a... Now, I know people are saying that his main position is number 10, but again, yeah. um, beggars can't be choosers. Gule, you're not getting the number 10 position. That is that is um, Bellingham's position now. So if everybody is, if everyone is fully fit, that right side is still not fully spoken for. So yeah, Gullet's yeah, best yeah. chance to hold in a place is, okay, I can be your consistent right side because Rodrigo hasn't held it down. Valverde hasn't held it down. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Gatlock, what are you saying? Then? Come here, so Gatlock, your thoughts on the ghoul? Um, the talky guy. Um, yes. Okay. He's okay, I guess. Left-footed um, right-wingers are the norm nowadays. Everybody wants them. So I feel he has more of a shot in that place than Rodrigo because Rodrigo's position is actually where Vinny is. It's just that Vinny is much better than him and more consistent nowadays. Bellingham might lock down that t number 10 position. So Diaz, he man, because Diaz played today because Bellingham wasn't available. Mm. Um, and as for the striker, I think that'll be Hendricks next year, or maybe these guys have too many players, man. Like seriously, so Hendrick and probably Mbappe might come next year. So where will Hendrick play? Like I don't, I don't. So no, no, he'll, he'll just have play? to. He has to be on rotation. But remember, he's young, so he'll just be like a rotational youngster. Yeah, but all these players are young or youngish at least, because when Hendrick becomes like twenty or twenty-one. Mbappe will still be in his 20s. Vinny will still be in his 20s. Yeah. Rodrigo will still be in his 20s. Well, anyway, I guess they'll just get money for them if they don't work out. But as for Gule, I, I feel I, he's in the lowest in the pecking order, if I'm being honest. Unless he's going to play central mid. Because I I don't... He's going to be shipped out eventually. He's going to go the other guard route. Because there are other players that are going to fill up that okay, so, 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 three, <coughs> you know. so, so So you agree with, with J.S. West? He ain't making it a real... He's not, he's not. Even if they go 4 2 3 1 and he try and place the number 10, Diaz, that, that's the only way I can see it working because it's that way he played number 10 with Diaz. Other than that, but you see, they have, they also have Bellingham there as well. So it's, no, he's not going to, I'm sorry, they're, they're, that, the place is, is packed up. So no, okay, 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 but okay, if, let's, so let's say they do 4 2 3 1. Then who is the consistent starter out wide on the right? You see, there won't be. That place will just be a rotational area. Like no, no, no. But, 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 but God, that's his. He's in now. Let's just say he's fully fit. He's. Let's say I'm like Gules agent. I'll say you want to have a career at Real Madrid. You say that. You say to Carlo, my position is out wide on the right, and whenever you play, you ball out, and you ball out so well. When Carlos makes his list. You are now ahead of Rodrigo or Valverde for that right, right side okay. of spot. That's your okay. that's your in. Okay, now that is a scenario where it it can work. But here's the thing: I'm looking at this in a scenario of when Hendrik comes and let's say Mbappe is there as well. One of them will have to play on the right. And if well, 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 I think I think the thing. idea is Mbappe will play striker. Hendrick's also yeah, left footed yeah. as well. Hendrick has yeah, a left footed. Hendrick is also left footed. Who, who he plays on yeah. the right. Exactly. So, so who have more clouds? Hendrick or Gule? And the Brazilian or or the guy with got locked you know, down. Don't, don't, got locked down. Yeah, don't forget uh, Hendrick's big money move as well. It's not cheap. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So and and Barcelona have shown as the get some guy from the classroom it's it's not so it's not too young. No, oh, but, so but, 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 but here's the thing that it's someone <laughs> it's like it's like Bellingham as well you have to bet on yourself so if you're Gule, you're like and if you ball out you ball out 
Like, let's just be real. Real Madrid, it's a meritocracy. So there is no Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher crap or Rashford crap happening at Real Madrid. It's like the best, so the best play, the best stats. So if you're Gule, you're like, okay, I know Hendrik is the bigger name. I know Roy Rodrigo have spent more time, but if whenever I play, and I'm played again, Keith Young fits, and I ball out, how can you freaking bench me? Now, really? if you keep getting injured and you don't ball out, oh yeah, you're out because there are yeah. so many other places. To be fair, I can see. Hold on, the only way I can see um, Gule staying is if he's willing to be like Foden and just be a rotational guy. That's the only well, way I can see. If Rodrigo gets sold, then that's oh, something. Exactly. Yeah. Because that's the thing. Even if. Because that's the thing, Rodrigo is already the rotational guy with Diaz. So I don't know how much space he has even to be a rotation. That's the only problem. And the thing about Real Madrid, you have to have elite mentality to succeed there. No mentality, you're going to fail. That, that's the truth. Anybody who has ever succeeded in Real Madrid usually has a strong mentality to just keep going, no matter how shit or average they are. Uh, the one thing I'd say is, like, mm. look at how many injuries they've had this season. Like, they 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 do suffer yeah. a lot of injuries. It's, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Someone even mentioned in the streets that squad is depth. Center back. Trump yeah. is playing center back. The thing about Real Madrid, I feel they need more people at the back. End yeah, defensively. Yeah, yeah, no, more than the. In front end, it's true, it's true. I think it's true. End. I think they do have a lot of options, a lot of options offensively. It's defensively where, yeah, they don't really have enough but I think offensively they're fine. Like they're offensively they're very deep. They're very deep deep offensively. Um so who else wants to touch on um, the the goal? Samasi. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the goal. I really don't understand why they bought Gula because they, they really don't need him because they already they have Vinny, they have Rodrigo, they have Prime Diaz and Bape is coming. So they really don't need him there. I think uh, we have just got to prove they saw how good he was, how much talent they have, and they thought they could develop him. But I think it's either going to be a loan uh, to, for two years, and he's coming back, and then he can prove himself, or he go, is going to stay, and it's going to be... No, 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 wait, 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 but... I don't wait, think but, have so, Samasi, Samasi, they do need a consistent left-footed right winger, though. They don't have one. Real Madrid does not have one. They don't have a consistent right um, um left footed right wing winger. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be Hendrik. But he, Andrew but he's still very young though, and like we've not seen Hendrik really doing it much. So even if Hendrik is there, what do every, what does every manager want? I want two players fighting for every position. Minimum, minimum. I want there. I want there to be a minimum of two players fighting for every position. So. It could be a case where Rodrigo is one where, okay, maybe just be a squad guy, but now that position, Hendrik, Gule, every every match you're fighting for that position. Hendrik, if you mess up, Gule, you're coming. Gule, if you mess up, Hendrik, you come in. What about Rodrigo? There are four players who's going to fight for one position. No, They're, at least two are going to be sold. At least two. And I think Gule has an impressed in. He's uh, quite injured before since he uh, came up to uh yeah, so it's gonna be hard for him to pull him. Okay. Well HH, that, yeah. that that comment just now about Rodrigo should be Venus backup. You know I thought of that. However, fam, if Venus injured, I think Obapo will just move to the left for whenever Venus injured. And like and, and, and like how how often do we see Rodrigo I know Rodrigo is sort of versatile, but I think Rodrigo's best position is either as a false nine striker or no, on the on the right. His best position is on the left. The problem is Vinny has just overtaken. Oh yeah left. But you see that's the it's like yeah. So if Mbappe is coming towards there, that means it's either Vinny or Mbappe holding down that left position. Basically Rodrigo is the guy where you you now need to be worried as to where your place is big. though. I think his, his future is most at risk. Yes, 100%. Um, 87, we're, we're wasting about um, Guler. Yeah, I think he's a, I think he's a good player. Um, and um, I think the issue is um, he just hasn't got a lot of game time um, this season. He's been injured, I think, for most of the season. So um, I think Guler could be uh, good. And, um, you know, this upcoming Euros, right? Mm. Uh, I think Turkey will probably select him for the Euros. So 
maybe he'll be able to shine a lot. It is 80, 87. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not picking Toko to make the Euro semis. No, 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 I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing with it. I will never pick Toki. I'm not going to be picking Toki to qualify from the group. Okay, it's never happening. Okay, it's never. Happening. No, no, I'm. I, no, I'm saying he could perform well for Turkey. I didn't say oh, Turkey sure. would do well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He could perform. Yeah, okay, 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 but so, do you think he'll uh, make maybe, it at three? Yeah. So, so, so do, you, yeah, do, do you think he'll make it at Um, real? Um, it's, it's going to be hard, man. It's going to be really hard because um, because Real Madrid have a lot of forwards at the club, you know. And so what? Like, what's Guler's best position? He's like, is he like primary left winger or right winger? Or is he kind of both? Well, I th from, I mean, street talk to me. From what and I'm, I'm seeing from the chat is number 10 or right wing. Mm, oh, right. 10. Well, to me, because oh, what I've seen. Mm. Well, because to be fair, because Real Madrid, because Rodrigo has not really been that amazing as right winger, so I think he could be a right winger. Um, and because the thing is, I don't think um, I think Real Madrid do typically do four two three, so I don't really see him playing number ten that much for Real Madrid. So, um, yeah, I think um, right winger. But yeah, I mean, uh, let's just see how that season ends. I would say, um, and then we'll we'll see if he is a starter. But yeah, I mean, he probably needs a loan spell. That's probably for the best for him. All right, so let me quickly six on this Dubinsky's man. So shout out to your boy, to Piwa. Thank you for the Dubinsky, to Piwa. It's just my brother, I beg you. Don't nickname him or start silly debates about him. Laugh my ass off. Let's develop in peace. Big up the part about Big up. Okay, you know what? He is Arda Guler. Arda Guler. Okay. Oh, yeah. So his name is Arda Guler. His name is Lamin Yamal. I will not mess up these young kids okay so yes his name is fully out of color and i think that's the thing and also top point tell your real madrid guys because i'm looking on twitter and these guys are just you're overreacting people are like oh my gosh he scored his first goal look how amazing the goal is oh look at the goal from this angle yeah it was a pretty good goal uh, uh, turkish fan text turkish fan text yeah it's like guys just okay. chill relax turkish chill relax crazy. um shout out to your boy place a um have you seen kai Sanat in nigeria's video to today god look have you seen i have i have Bro just landed and those hush puppies trying to get a a piece a PC from him. Anyone on the panel tried Amala like Senat? I'm not a fan of Amala. I'm mm. a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Pandemium mm. and a bad guy. Amala, nah, no, not a you fan. Like it? I don't know. You, you know, it is. You know, it's it is. No, 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 it is. No, 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 it is. It is. You know the sad thing. What? So, so, so somebody called me racist for not liking Amala. <laughs> 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 you know what i don't even want to delve into that <laughs> i don't want to delve into that so i'll just move on. all i'm saying though is you know some people like amala some that i just don't like for me what as is I, 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 see I've, I've said this i've said this many times the greatest bill of all time i don't give a damn what those italians chinese guys make pandidiam and a goosey soup is the greatest meal of all time this is not my opinion especially, not my especially, viewpoint. The, especially the actual pounded one I mean, Olala is nice, but but bro, have you ever tasted the actual pounded one? Oh my days! No, 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 no! Like uh, that, uh, that food is from the heavens. Like literally, that food is from like pounded uh, and egusi is is, is from is, is from heaven. It, 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 it's great, but it's not the best. It's not. The best. It, but Barry, it is. Barry, it is. Like like really, it is. Uh, I it disagree. Is. <laughs> I disagree. Um, I don't have a name. H H and Team Gule have to consider Endrick as well. Yes, look, see, but we don't know how good Endrick is going to be. You see. Not every player that's hyped up is going to end up to be that dude. Let's be real. Endrick, huge talent. Is Endrick Neymar? No. Yeah. Is Endrick Robinho? Like, when we heard about there young R9... It's like, when we heard about young R9, when we heard about young Neymar, we were like, oh, wow. These are big things. Endrick into that stuff. So my things are, guys, let's actually let's see what Endrick does. Let's see what he actually produces on the pitch because what I've seen from Endrick ain't close to what Neymar was doing or Arnold were doing as freaking teenagers. So we just have to wait and see. And for me, I think if Gula's like, bro, I believe in my talents, I can go up against Endrick. Abris Fer, Brian Diaz chose Morocco over Spain, Afghan 2025, and Abris Fer, that's a perfect segue. That is a perfect segue. So before I come to your boy, AK with this man, um, I was surprised. I was surprised about this. So, Bram Diaz, Spain, Morocco, Spain, Morocco, and even there was even a story that came out that um, Spain felt they were confident of getting Bram Diaz to come through. And why I thought that it was even more likely, Real Madrid, the face of Spanish football, him now bowling for Real Madrid, 
I just, I just put one and one together. Oh, this guy's definitely going to pledge to, to Spain. He's coming off what I think is arguably his best spell or best season whatsoever. He's going to be a huge um, for the De La Fuente at this summer's Euros. So that's why I'm, I'm very keen to hear from AK. I don't really know what would have influenced him or turned him to go to Morocco. But in my view, I think it's great. I think it's great. It would have been so much better if both Yamal and Diaz both pressed. Because if that happened, Morocco are looking extremely good, not only for AFCON, no, but shut for 2026. No, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who is Brian Diaz passing to in Morocco? Um, exactly. <laughs> look, look, it, it, look, it's 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 a one man job. But no, but look, Mon Morocco had a lot of quality guys at like that. Also, what's it called? Um, your boy Chelsea. Um, Ziyech. Ziyech. Look, Ziyech. Ziyech. I I I would say Ziyech is a baller. Ziyech is a baller. Despite what happened to him at Chelsea and everything, that guy is still a one hundred percent baller. So I think that guy is still that dude now. Um, and and Nesri, Lord in heaven, save us. But I like it. I like it. (laughs) You know, I like it. So, so, okay, okay, so, but but, yeah, so before I come to Akers, I want to definitely hear from AK from this. No, look, I think this is, I think this is good because if he goes to Spain, does, is it a guaranteed starter? I don't know. Maybe there are a few pretty good offensive options that Spain have. Um, because you have Ferran Torres, you have Morata, you have obviously Lamin Yamal. Um, you do they do have like some options, but I feel like that's why I was shocked. Because it just seemed that all signs were leading going over to your boy Spain. So yeah, so um yeah, I think that's really, really, really good for for, for everything in Africa. So talk to me, AK. Were you surprised by this move? Did you, did you expect him to choose Spain rather than uh, uh, First of all, um, I couldn't give two shit what he chose. I mean, oh wow! A- after that Afghan performance, bro, the, these these fuckers don't deserve anything, man. The, the, do these fuckers really deserve? Oh, Morocco has a lot of quality. Morocco has a lot of this, a lot of that. If my strikers are fucking, if my, my strike, do you see? Kids are watching. Kids are watching. Kids are watching. Kids are watching. Did you see? Use. Do you see what t- type of goals Yusuf and the series scored for Sevilla like the last couple of weeks? He's scoring scorpions kicks and he's scoring he's going from like oh, 30 okay, yards okay. out. Osima, Osima talks. Osima's doing the same. Osima's doing the same. Me, doing the same. Me, meanwhile, <laughs> for this bum ass Moroccan squad, this guy can't this guy can't score a header to save his life. And he's Thank fucking you. seven Thank foot you. tall. Thank but you. um Thank you. I mean, bro, I guess it's I guess it's a good like thing. But here's a simple thing, HH. I want an Afghan victory. And the way we play is not going to get us an AFCON victory. So it's great getting Brahim Diaz and this guy and that guy and that guy and that guy. But we're going Adam, to... Adam, we're going to Adam, Adam. Yeah, all, all of these guys. But we're going to go into the AFCON with an uh, with Amala and Amraba in the midfield. And we're going to get out in the round of 16 again. Can like, you speak comment? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, good work, good work. <laughs> I mean, I it's a good like it's a good guy. We need somebody to replace Ziek because he's like he's like thirty no, 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 something years old. Were you, were you surprised by him choosing Morocco? Did you think he was going yeah, to Spain? Yeah, kind of because bro, the guy, bro, the guy's last name is Diaz, bro. He's like he's, but, but, he's but, not but, even his first name is Brahim. Brahim is no, a Spanish name. Brahim's not a Spanish name. Diaz is a Spanish. No, the thing yeah. is. I read you about him. Apparently, he's like brother. he's boy. He's like raised in the Moroccan Spanish culture. Someone like a Hakimi and someone like a Hakimi who represented Morocco was like he, he got raised in a Moroccan culture. He just was born in Spain. But I generally think this guy is just choosing because you know because Spain neglected him. He's not choosing Morocco because he wants to play for Morocco. Let's be real. Bro, wow. there was actually somebody who said. I think there's actually some some uh, famous like Moroccan like TV anchor said like representing the about Bohem. He said representing the country does not require waiting or negotiating. Mister Mister Bohem, Morocco is great, and those who are in it, and there are those who are in it, and those who want it. Like, mm. I, I mean, I'm just looking at this as a guy who you know decided to play for Morocco because Spain you know didn't want him. Great, he's in the squad. Will he win me an Afcon? 
yet to see, but I, I'll be real. I don't have my trust in any of these guys at the moment because of so, what so, 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 so Diaz choosing Morocco doesn't excite you? No, no, it doesn't excite me at all, bro. Like, I we did we have the best squad in the AFCON, this past AFCON? By quality, we had one of the best squads, right? Yeah. And we got knocked out in the round of 16 in South Africa. We've been getting knocked out in the round of 16 consistently, except for in 2021, where we had where we got to quarterfinals because we played Malawi in the round of 16. Maybe Diaz like, is the turning point. Maybe Diaz is your Moses. Uh, Moses hype, man. <laughs> and this this bum Lagragi who says, "Oh, I'm gonna resign if Wait, we Moses don't get the semifinals." Yeah, he's <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Talk um, the no. Moroccan Moses. <laughs> <laughs> no, like here's the thing, it. man. Bro, this you know this bum Lagragi said before the Afcon. He said, "Oh, if we don't get to the semifinals, I'm gonna ret- I'm gonna resign." AK, and the bum doesn't Diaz resign. Ha- Diaz could be your lightning rod. He's not Every do team anything. needs a hero. Every he's team needs a hero, anything. and this he's could not, be the hero. He's gonna do nothing. He's gonna do nothing. Let's okay, 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 wait, hold on. Okay, um, let, let me come to your boy also sooner then. Emmons. Oh, actually, we have to myself come to you. So also sooner. Thoughts on um, Diaz choosing. Um, um, Morocco or Spain? Did you think he should have chosen Spain instead, though? I mean, I uh, barely knew of this. Um, I think it's better than going for Spain. I think Spain has already kind of their established squad, and he's not really been getting a call up from them. If he wants to be representing an international team, then he wants to be representing the one that you know you're gonna, I guess, get the most chance to actually play for, right? If mm. uh, Spain's not gonna um, get uh, you any playing time, um, I don't know. I think that it's a okay decision either way. Um, he's not gonna win anything for Morocco. I don't think these guys are gonna win in Afcon after seeing how they consistently don't perform. Good job, you know. I mean. It, he probably would have had more chance winning something with Spain, but at the same time, I don't know. He he he's not, he excites me a little bit. He's a good player for the future. Maybe if he was a bit patient, he could have gotten into Spain. I think that in the end, it's still the right decision. I mean, play right now international football. Uh, you don't know, you know, for certain what's in the future. At least now you know that you're going to at least play for the national team. All right. Um. LMT, way same, bro. Um, Diaz, right call to choose Morocco over a Spain. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, that Spain team is kind of stacked. So, uh, but okay, although... okay, you say it's stacked. Who is in Spain's attack? That's you said this is because remember, we're, we're not in, in 2010 any, anymore, bro. <laughs> okay, so please yeah. tell me who is in Spain's attack. I mean, they, they have a, uh, they don't have the, it's not stacked like that, which I would say we could still <laughs> try to make it. In the starting lineup, but I see why someone like him would go to Morocco, just because he, he sees the Spain Wait, and he neglected it. Uh, let me actually so, just hit this one. Is... He said that Spain was stacked, and he said no, it's actually not stacked. No, the best front three would be Nico Williams, Morata. I mean, there is the Nico Morale. Williams. Those they, they've already played, and I'm pretty sure um, they're ahead of him in the pecking order. So it will be much more difficult for him to get yeah, into. Yeah, Danny uh, Olmo as well. Yeah, Danny Olmo as well. There's yeah. a few. I mean, I don't know he's not going to He's Morata. better. Yeah, he's Danny Olmo is better than Diaz. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Currently, yeah. Well, we'll see how with this season it could change. I, I, I don't think it's the best. He could still go to Spain because he could still have a great season with Madrid, mm. with what they're doing. But currently, if you ask the Spain manager, he's not going to put him. Let's be honest. Yeah. So, so basically, he's choosing Morocco because he can't get into Spain. No, not because he feels Moroccan. Any Moroccan? Well, if he if he felt Moroccan, he'd have chosen us a long, long time ago. That's ah, right. that's a good point. That's a good way because if somebody even said in his free stats, you what you're twenty four, twenty five, and you still haven't pledged to a national team. So, bro, you could have helped freaking Morocco at this freaking past Afghan in Ivory Coast, man. So, oh, he could have never. Yeah, yeah, this way, you could have done nothing. Bro. Yeah, no, so Um, right call, bad call, him choosing thingy. I mean, yeah, it's the right call for him because if he'd pick Spain, how many international caps would he get? Whereas in Morocco, he's in contention to start basically. But I mean, I mean, I can't respect an international team that has a kebab shop worker <laughs> in midfield. You, you can't respect that. 
I can't have it starting. It is. You see, this is why. This is why. This is just another issue we have. Come on, these guys are. We're that. We're the second choice. Let's be honest. Okay, I'm looking at these guys. I'm looking at these guys. So, 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 that's me, you, and AK are like as as sloppy seconds FC. Exactly. I'm looking at these guys. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy is not that brown. The guy wasn't feeling much. Let's be honest. The guy went. Look at. Yeah, like Let's be honest, man. That's why they're not putting their lives on the line for for that shit now. That's just for vibe. Is he gonna yeah, even? Wow. So 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 nobody yeah. actually can face. So, you no, know, no. I wanted to go there. So really, we are just the option when you can't make your your, no, your, can your, 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 your option. Can you bring up Josh Rogan's comment? Can you bring up Josh Rogan's comment? So many examples. This guy was twenty one or something. Yeah, twenty four. No one, no wonder, man. No wonder. Yeah, like look at that guy Williams. that went to Algeria. What's his name? G O U R. Gui, Gui, Gui. Guri, that I got into Algeria. These people that are, that are going there at, at 25 years old, you think it was their dream to be ready to be? To be you know, you know, you know what? Well, that's very key. It's like, bro, how do you start playing for your an international team at 25? Yeah, how uh, at 25, like, oh, I'm from this country now. Yeah, yeah. So, also at 25, you've miraculously now chosen a country of, 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 no, of no, allegiance. No, the funny thing is, yes, it's 25. Exactly. I think it's like 24, 24. So, 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 wait, wait. Just was what you said? Yeah, how old is Husum Awa? 24. Yeah, he just picked Algeria this year as well. Exactly. Didn't he go cost a two play for Spain in 26? When Musiela picked Germany, he's 25. When Musiela picked Germany, we understood he picked Germany. It was 19. Okay, we understood that that was his choice. Fam, if you're picking somebody at um, 27 years old, it's like that's not because that's a, that's they didn't as, want to. like like, like, like remember we got, what's the name of that idiot um striker from Newcastle who only picked us because he wanted to play in the 2014 World Cup? What Amiobi? I, I don't know. Yes. Who? who that fool. Literally, literally. <laughs> that, that's what I that's what I I would slap that idiot. That who, guy who, 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 picked who? Nigeria just for the 2014 World World Cup. He what's got to play. That guy didn't sniff a single Afcon. Yeah, I'm mean, Obi Kalok. I mean, bro, do you know how, bro? Literally, you only joined just so that you wanted to play the World Cup, and us being the fools and losers that we are, gave him a spot. He played at the World Cup, and he never played it for Nigeria ever again. See, see for me, so, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's that's why whenever I see all these guys, I like, ew. I hope this guy pick and picks us and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, I don't hope. Yeah, you, you pick or you don't. Yeah. You well, know, like, that's, that, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I respect about Hakimi, man. I'm not the biggest fan of Hakimi. I don't want his name mentioned ever since that penalty miss. But at least he he stayed loyal. Like, oh, the guy yeah. that was in Morocco till like 16, 17. Bro. What is this? Oh no, you see, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to respect. See, that's why it's like, even now, if Hakimi, it's right. If um, Diaz now goes to the Morocco, it's like, how will he be? Obviously, you're like, yeah, he's a teammate and everything. But you're like, well, bro, you, you were like our second choice. Because if if it was fair, you would have chosen Spain. So you're only choosing us because you couldn't get into Spain. Which I'm like, uh, I don't know how, I, I don't know. That that just feels a bit odd. Man. Yeah. So, um, Didn't Sumati, Diego Costa choose to chase, uh, play for Spain when Fred and Joe were strikers for uh, Brazil? Yes. Do you, do you know how crazy that is? Bro, the, the, <laughs> f- bro that's our, basically, how do you choose an R&B duo? Over Diego Costa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, no, actually, no, you know what? I tell you right now, Costa would have Costa had a, a cookout after that seven one, because it's like, bro, this but, is what you chose. But, but, basically, but, you but basically you chose boys, boys to men and Casey and Jojo over me, bro. But it is, it is. The guy got dunked five one himself, so it's like, um, God luck. I rather I'll, I'll rather lose five one. In a group game, than lose seven one in my own home ground in a semi final. Okay, yeah, give, give me, give me, give me that, that five one. <laughs> give me that. Five. So, 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 do you think Diaz chose the right choice? I, I think Morocco. He chose where he chose because he wants to play in the World Cup. And then is it the next? Is it the next year? Next two years? Two years. Yeah, two years. Yeah. Let's yeah. Make it. Let's face it, he has no chance in this, uh, to uh, go in the Spain team, so he chose 
the easier team to go in. And I think Morocco's biggest problem is their manager and their FA because we have a very talented left back, Adam Asnu, and he wasn't chosen for the under 19 and 17 for Morocco because he's speaking with the manager. We That's sacked that coach. We sacked that coach. We sacked that coach, thankfully. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Wait, someone was sleeping with the manager? No. They were fight he was fighting with the manager. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. That's how pro uh, unprofessional the FA were. So I think if they get their shit together, that the Morocco has actually a bright future because they have a lot of uh, talented young players. So I think they could uh, win uh, Afcon in the next five years. Five to three years. Yeah. Um, let me quickly hear this to me. So shout out to your boy Canadian fries, man. Um Drenthi will have a better career at Real Madrid than Gule. Who is that name sounds a bit funny. Who the hell is Drenth? Royston Drenth. Oh Royston Drenth. Oh Dutch. Oh wow. Look. You see, no one can predict the future. Let's Gule ball. Let him bowl, let him show himself, and, and then and then we, we, we can judge. Let him judge. So so it's unfair to, to judge him now. It's too early. Um but it's fair. Also soon as smoking sense of beans again, hashtag four twenty, hashtag Maradona. Also I hope you're not high, bro. I Brother, hope you're not I'm high. cooking food. Okay, cool. Again, no, no, as, 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 long, as, long as, as long as you're not cooking with that's fine. So, so it's with Khalifa, not not Maradona. Yeah, man. What, what, so look what kind, now, what kind of greens are you putting in there? Let me let me let me come here to your boy Barry. So Barry, so it's a very simple question here, Barry. Um, are Leverkusen going to yeah. go undefeated? I would like it. I would like do, it because do you think they will have an invincible season? They'll go undefeated. Mm, well, I, I need to see their schedule though. What does it look like? Forget their schedule, Joe. They're not doing, they're not going any on, on invincible. Bro, hey, you know, who knows, how complacent you be after the if they uh, win the I league can. with three games to go, do you think they will I now go? No. So oh no, no, come on, no, they will. They will level level. They will. No, no, come on. Gatlock, if let's say they won the league with, with three games to go, bro, create history, create further history. Hundred percent go for it. Like if you have to draw you know, men behind the ball, league, bro. bro, create because have Bayern ever gone invincible? They almost no. did in 2013. Fucking Liverpool. Fuck did you. No, they, I don't think they will. They, they won't. So, they okay, okay, so Gatlo, why don't you go. think they will? I'll go back to Barry. So, Gatlo, why don't you think they will? I just don't think it's possible. Yeah, 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 yeah we'll come to this match. We'll come to you. So, Gatlo. I don't think it's possible in this, especially in this day and age, for them to go invisible, especially when they're in another competition and they are not Bayern. I don't, I don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't. They will lose eventually. That complacency will come. Eventually, I remember when people said Liverpool were going to do it. I'm like, no, okay, we've not seen them when, like, let's say they win the league with like two games to go. In one of those games, they will lose. I, I see them losing. I'm sorry, I just, I don't just see it happening. So, so actually, so correct me if I'm wrong. So, like, since let's say early nineties or so, for like the last 30, 40 years, the only teams to go invincible are Arsenal and Juve. Yeah, am I missing about about Barca was so close in 2018. I think Perugia came close. second yeah. oh, and, and were undefeated. I will in 2012, Bayern was close. Yeah, Perugia and Didn't Juve go invincible one season? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's what, that's what I said. I know for sure it's Juventus and obviously Arsenal. Yeah, there, there's yeah Perugia there. in the 90s. Finished yeah, yeah, shout, yeah. shout out to Preston North End. Hold on. In <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Got look, got look, got look. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Actually, come back to me later. There's something I want to play. Oh, oh. Oh God. Um, okay, let me go to Barry. That's about so, so, so Barry, you say Leverkusen yeah. will go invincible, or not go invincible. I think they will. Yeah, I think they will because they're, they're almost there to win the league. So, as you said, like if you're so close and you you and you're chasing something that no team, even the great treble Bayern teams, have never done, why not go for it? And Europa League, I don't know what's necessarily their their mindset because. Oh, Obviously, please. It's, it's a Europe League. Who cares? Yeah, so, so like, yeah, it is. It is. Winning it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. Oh, no, 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 no. Barry Fisher, no, come back to Barry, Barry, Barry. Yeah, not only winning it, but having a, an undefeated record, doing something that even the, the two treble Bayern teams haven't done, it could be amazing. So, so God, what, what, did you want, what did you want to go with? This. I'd like to apologize for 
for the past three, four years, Levante has been my example of a tough job. <laughs> Every time I think of a bad club, I say Levante, I'll say, at least you didn't get beat by Levante. Or I'll say some crap like Levante. I have, they have been the bot end of my jokes and my insults for the past few years. So it is only apt that I have to give an apology. They are still slightly crap, but what they achieved against Barcelona was nothing short of monumental. An absolutely incredible, amazing ach achievement. And your boy Lucas H um, told me about this guy, but I didn't even listen to him because I, I disregarded his comments because I was like, sorry, bro, you're not going to give me an argument as to how Levante can beat Barcelona with or without Messi. <laughs> So, yeah. How the hell uh, does do Levante stop your invincible record? Levante? Exactly. I don't know. And, and I don't know. It is, do you know when they stopped it? Game 37. Yes. The ultimate yes. game. <laughs> they oh had, do you know what happened? God. It was so. Everybody said that Barcelona. Because do you know who they played before Levante? Real Madrid. Real Madrid, Real Madrid even failed to beat them. It was 2 2 mm -hmm. So it, and then they, they were down five to, one at fifty was, minutes. All they had to do was beat Levante and um, Real Sociedad, and they lost five four. It was five one at some point. Wait, I was wait, laughing. Wait, 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 what season was this? 2018. Um, Ernesto Valverde's first season. Yeah, where they went to go and lose to Roma three zero. Fam, nah, I, I was nah, so it, convinced they were going nah, to nah, because yeah. everybody said it was going to be Real Madrid that was going to stop them, and then Levante just said, "What's up, fam?" That's what I'm saying. Like, no, I'm, that 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 is not going to be achieved in this day and age. No, it's not going to be achieved. Nah, it's, it it was it was almost as it's, frustrating it's, as the Roma game. It's, I'm it's, I'm it's, it's, uh, you're not gonna, you know, the game by and lost to not go invincible in 2012. Branch fight. Leverkusen. These fuckers. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, sure. Now, 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 that's Oh yeah, crazy. you lost at home two zero, right? Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. You see, I don't know what I'm saying. No, you they see. don't. No, Dortmund and Stuttgart need to stop that. Okay, we're losing the league. I know that it's 10 points. Hey, it's, it's not in over here, bro. It's not over here. It's, 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 I don't think Wait, wait, wait. Shout league. out to the 5% yeah. who voted for <laughs> they're they losing the league more. Shout out to the 5%, man. Stop the jinx shit. Okay, we, we're going to lose the league. But, oh my God. Bayern has dominated the league. If if they go invincible, this will be embarrassing, okay? Not losing the league. This they go invincible for us. Okay, somebody needs to stop that. Xavi Alonso, I can't believe he had one and a half season and created this team with this system. And now they they I think the DFB are in cahoots with them, okay? Because okay, but no, come on, come on. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. No, no, that's, no, no, no. Okay, maybe that's just a little bit conspiracy theory. This is the third game in a row that they go against an opponent and the and the opponent gets a red card and they're on the, uh, the opponent is just with 10 men. The third game in the row. Have you seen something like this? No. The DFB was an other uh, winner instead of Bayern. That's why I'm doing this. They wow. first game in a row. I can't believe they're gone invincible. Xavi along the situation is Tuchel is a fucking idiot. And this is embarrassing for us. Do not Shit. let the game invincible. Stuttgart, Dortmund, for fuck's sake, please. It is. It is. I need to give you an advice for your channel. You what is bad that I say, saying um, UCL preview? Yes. You need to update people in the charts because here's the funny thing. I've, I've realized new new um, subscribers, do you know what they think? What? They think Core is a concrete ba um, Bayern fan. They think Samasi is an athletic fan. They go to um, j 2 and think he's an athletic fan. <laughs> Nobody actually knows. No, no, no. I am an athletic fan. <laughs> Because I, on, I'm man. looking at the chat. Somebody said that Samasi is an athlete. I thought that Samasi was an athlete. And I'm like, I'm no, 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 no,
if you just come in midway through, you have no idea what the hell is, is, is going on. If you invest in it and you watch previous episodes, oh, it's amazing. But the, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's, it's a, like we are a world and law unto our, ourselves. Because, bro, and also, Gatlo, do you know who we have to blame for all this? Jujuman. Right. Jujuman is the guy who actually, for some reason, allowed fans to now support small sports clubs. I told you, he once, supports once Madrid I, and City now, man. He supports. No, no, no. AK, he supports whoever is the best team in any league. <laughs> yeah, Madrid and <laughs> City. Yeah, let, Madrid and City, and on, on, until they, they lose the, this league. This no, no, let, let me re respond to this guy in, in the chat. It's an mm. ironic comment. No, it's not. The thing about me is I have not actually changed. <laughs> I just don't review. Gatlock, okay, come on. Okay, Gatlock, why don't no, you want no, to reveal no, which no, team no, you support? No, no, no. Oh, my God. I think it's between two. It's either Bayern or Atleti. It's Bayern or it's Atleti. No, no, no. It's either Bayern or Atleti. Put it this way. It's either it's true. It's either Barca or Arsenal. I'm actually going no, to go for Barca. Bayern, it's, 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 no, no, it's either no, no, Bayern no, 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 no. or it's Atleti. It's either he's, Bayern or it's Atleti. He's Nigerian. He's, he's, he's Nigerian. It's either Barca or Arsenal. No, basically, two things. He's Nigerian. And just judging by how he talks about football, my guess is that it's, it's, it's Barca. No, bro, this guy knows way too much about Atletico Madrid. Madrid. Like, no, this guy knows way too much about Atletico Madrid. Gatlo, who do you support? Bro, I support Nigeria. Let's just put it that way. Okay. What? Well, that's who I suppose. What? I'm, I'm, I'm Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, oh, you know what annoys oh, me about this guy? So this okay, guy so abuses every every single club, but when it's time to, <laughs> and I know, nah, see, see, that's how it works. Right, look, yeah, we I, all we all everybody. have to have a chance to get clan. So, God, look, you can start clan on other people. Well, it's club goes to but, but, but we can't clan. God, look, how we can't clown you? That's how it works. God, look, I'm eleventh. No, it's it's, I'm 11. No, it's, it's a double edged sword. Yeah, you guys never clowned me. No, it's so, a double edged like... sword. Do you know why? Because you guys have clowned me. The problem is, I just can't respond. So it's a double edged sword. I can't respond. You can respond. Yeah, 11. You can you can respond. No, no, I have to and take it. no, 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 no. But that's look, we want you to be in the vicinity while we clown your club, and then you have to now try to respond. Well, that's a, that's how it works. Okay, look, um, Eddie, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It is do you think the Cruz will go on on, on on beating? Oh, okay, okay. So, it is do you think the Cruz will go on beaten? Uh, do you mean in the league or like all competitions? Oh no, no, league, 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 league. league. No, no, no yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. come on, bro. They're, they're not going going on on beating in both. No, that's not happening. They they lose in the Europa League, but in the league only. Yeah. I mean, if they go on beating everything, I'll be insane because that'll be a trouble. But I, no. I know it will happen. I, I know it will happen. But yeah, in the league. Um, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Eighty seven, eighty seven. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna lose. I feel like they're just, I feel like they're gonna win most of the games and draw most of the games. I feel like they're gonna lose just one game. Just one game, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose one game. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I feel, I feel they will lose one game. I don't know if it's but I think yeah, they'll have one. They'll have one loss. They'll have one. Yeah, loss. I yeah, I think they'll lose two towards the end. Yeah, I think. Nah, not nah, one. I think, I, two, I think two. They'll lose I think one. two as well. I think two as well. I, one. I think they'll lose the last game one. of the season after they won the season. No, 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 please, no, no. Look, if if these guys win the league, and I don't say if. And they go unbeaten. That's now, bro. Jabi Alonso, man. <laughs> I mean, that is that is what you call an achievement. Yeah. And I was this is like was his second year or first full season? Yeah, second full season. First full season. First full season. It's the first full season. It is. It's too perfect. How can you? How can your first league win? Yeah. Be an invincible. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's, yeah. They happen. They happen. They happen. They're quite two minutes problem, no? And they can even, you, you know, they're seeing the cup and the Europa. yeah, they haven't lost in either of them. Man. Yeah, it's I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's but, but but you know what you know what it is. This is one of those things where like it's just one of those like they, this can't happen again. It's just one of those things where they've just struck some kind of belief and caught and everything. And also, you have one oh, of the best young players in in Vets up in there. So, who's going to win a league? Who's going to win a league? Shaka or Arsenal? Oh my, you know that would be crazy for Shaka. Shaka. That'll be a great redemption. It'll be a great redemption. <laughs> Shaka leaves us in the win. Now, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see Gatlock, did you know what, what what would be fair? Hold on, Gatlock, did you know what would be fair? They both, they they, they both win. Now, no, what would be better for a stream? <laughs> or would be much more enjoyable? Is one win, one doesn't win. No, it now, is. like, look, 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 see, here's what it. What is most likely is Shaka wins that league title and Aston don't. That would be. That's, that's what is most likely to, to happen. No. But 
Now, it is pick pick this scenario. Hold on, just, just pick this scenario. This is what happened in my in my FM, by the way, twenty twenty five. Um, it won't happen because Tottenham are going to be in Champions League next season. It happened in twenty twenty five where Tottenham, no, Kane, Leverkusen won this year. Kane won the Bundesliga next year, but Tottenham won the Europa League. Shout out, son. You actually scored. What? Tottenham won the Europa League? Yeah, I know. It's weird. Wait, wait. Are you sure your FM wasn't bugged or something? That's why I said it's not going to happen because they're going to be in Champions League next year. I knew there's no drop down. So pick this scenario. Who do you think received an L? Tottenham or Kane? Keep in mind, he won the Bundesliga. It depends. The next UCL final is in Munich. We have to be there. We have to be there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Fullsboro Arena. Yeah, you, you guys yeah. are going to be there. No offense. Um. So okay. So okay. Look back. Okay. Never all right. Know. Let's. Never. Let's now get into the whole thing as well. Okay. So do we do we have a designated Arsenal fan, Alex? You're going to be a, a designated Arsenal fan, man. It is what it is. So. Uh, now. I thought we're gonna. What happened to the I'm intro? Weird. What happened to the intro? Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's 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 wait 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 Okay, no, actually, yeah. no, let me, okay, let's just, yeah. just very quickly on, on, on your boy Vets. Here's the thing about Vets. Quality goal. Amazing goal. And you know what? This team has Musiala. This team has Vets. And these are arguably two of the best young talents in football right, right now. But here's a key scenario here, and anybody, anybody can jump in. Do you think, no, better question. How long do you think Leverkusen can get a hold of Vets? Or do you think that's next? Did you think 20, that's if they win the league or they win the Europa League, he's 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 gone this this summer? 2025, 2025. 2025. I think he's gone summer 2025. So okay, okay. Why 25? Is that when his contract run, runs out? Or no, I just think people want to see one more year from I him. I think he's gonna stay in Yon. He's either gone Man City or Well, in well actually, well, gradually. here's the thing though. Here's, okay, what if he has a, he's one of the best players at, at the Euros? And he's a so let's see. Let's okay. Okay, let me play the scenario. Leverkusen, if Leverkusen win the league, let's say they reach the Europa League league final, and Germany don't win the Euros, but he's one of the best players at, at the Euros. He won't be because he won't be playing his his number ten position. That will be Musiala. And Pierre Ferguson, oh. Pierre Ferguson as manager. That's idiot. I'm um, yeah. For, for me, I he's actually I'm, He's the perfect. A talent for Barca, but Barca have no money. You know who's gonna get him when it's Bayern not gonna get him? It's gonna be fucking Man City. Yeah, it's man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like no, someone needs to, needs to stop Man City and get, Pep from yeah. getting players. You see, that's the thing. I think he's it's going to go to City. Over. But because the Bruyne is there, he's not going to go yet. Just I get think he's going to be the Bruyne's replacement in 2025. Yeah, that's why I think he's going to look. Be look, I think he's going uh, to hold on, hold on, J two S. Let's let's focus on sacking Pochettino and actually balancing out. But did you see have what you heard that we, 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 we made a ninety million loss? We made a ninety million loss. Have you not seen Pochettino's latest yeah, comments? Yeah, J two S. Why don't you say what it was? <laughs> no, no I, I think I should just share the screen instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably. You know what I'm talking about? Champions League. Oh my God! Okay, seen the Oscars. John no, Cena no, no. was naked on stage. Who? John Cena. Okay, please. Okay, I, 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Please. <laughs> please, please, please. Wait, okay. Just, just, just. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Wait, what, what did he say? I can't, I can't read. What, what, what does he say? He says, Poch, Pochettino, the fans aren't going to love another coach any more than me. It's a new project and the people need to understand. Okay, here's the thing. Now, I am not going to go into the extreme of Abdullahi, of what Abdullahi is is pro- proposing. But the way Pochettino is talking, desperate times call for desperate measures right now. So, James West, as I was saying, especially after those those quotes, I think before we can even think of getting an event, which we can't because of money, let's get this bomb out. Because what's the point in Chelsea getting a player as talented as Vets? If he's been tutored by this bomb ass fool, <laughs> there's no point. <laughs> so my thing is that we can only say what's up if we get rid of this freaking idiotic Lochettino bromance. So yeah, I mean, look, 
My thing is is um gip. Hey, how do you game Wait. Wait. Hey yo! Gro- no, no, grop, grop, Operation Grop. Okay. Get, get, get rid of Popotetino. <laughs> Not Grop, Grop. Bro, bro, bro. You, you have to, you have to, you have to change the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, sorry. I'm just thinking of one thing as you say that, man. Like no. And so is on okay. the on the panel right now. So. Okay. Okay. You know what's okay. Okay. Look, 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 but um. All right. Let's let's hit it. 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 Arsenal fans, I blame you. Arsenal fans, I blame you. This has nothing to do with Arsenal, the team, etc. But this is to do with Arsenal fans. The reason why people want Arsenal to lose is because of Arsenal fans. Now, I am going to reiterate what I said um, after the first leg. I know people are excited and everything, and I know that you know Porto have the usual heritage. Arsenal are only one zero down. See, two zero, uh, only one zero down. And they're playing at the at the crib. Arsenal's quality will see them through. They see them through. The only way Arsenal don't go through is it's just a very frustrating exercise. If FC Porto go old school, slow the game down, make it a nasty game, a slower game, a tactical game, then that's where I think Arsenal could be frustrated and it could potentially be like a one-one or dare I say even a zero-zero. Dare I say even like a very Tokeli band zero-zero. So but it depends what, what kind of game it is. If FC Porto make it, if they just double off on what they did in the first leg, even more fouls, where the ball is in play for like, what, 10 minutes max, oh, then Porto could escape with a, a, a draw. But I just think that Arsenal just have too many game winners, too many match winners. They're going to be at the crib. They're going to be even more motivated based off the events of City and Liverpool. That Oh, we're not going into this game top of the table. Top of the table in the Premier League, they're going to be even higher on confidence. I just think that's high confidence, that's home crowd, the, the team playing well, the team in, in, in good form, having that win against Brentford, I think that's going to see them through. So I'm going to keep it rustic and say that Arsenal get the dub. Alex, wait, 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 say that. Arsenal or FC Porto, Alex? Porto. Uh, we're Porto. Um, to, because I feel like um, I think if they just do. What they did, which even wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on, Alex. Your, 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 your mic is cutting up. Your mic is just cutting up. Your mic is cutting up. Come on, some copper can your mic is cutting up. Let me come to J Swiss. J Swiss, what would he say? Ask the FC Porto. J Swiss, J Swiss, uh, Gatlock. Come again, Arsenal FC Porto. Um. Honestly, I actually think these guys, it depends on HH, man. Um, that's not at home, right? Yes, and they're 1-0 and they down. Honestly, um, Arsenal should come back. Let's be honest. Arsenal should they come should, back. but 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 let's be careful. They want to see Arsenal lose because people want to clown Arsenal fans for Arsenal disrespecting FC Porto, like Egal FC. Honestly, I'll be shocked if it's a draw. Maybe it goes to extra time. But Arsenal should come back. But it depends. I, I, it's just one of those scenarios where Arsenal will have the momentum going in. Obviously, they are the better team. But I can't sleep on Porto. I just can't sleep on Porto. 
But so okay, okay, okay. What if team. what if Portugal full to Caliban, men ban the ball, foul, Pepe has a masterclass. So do you see some way where Porto can 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 do a zero zero even like a one one? I can't see it. It is Porto. But the thing is Arsenal are very good. They did beat what's their name, Lens six zero. I know Porto are a different caliber, but I can't I can't sleep on Porto. I won't be surprised if it's it. I am seeing maybe a one-one draw, but I'm surprised if Arsenal win because it, they are the better team. Let's be honest; they should be in the quarters right now. Um, hold on, Krista. If it's two-one to Porto, then they go yeah. through. No, I no, think no, they go to no, penalties. Extra so time. Okay, no, okay. Oh, no okay. There's no way to go. We're gonna throw a ninety minutes. There's no way goal, so Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, yeah, two one. Okay, yeah, they go to penalties. Um, so AK, what are you saying? Um, Arsenal Porto. Yeah, see, there would be nothing more that I would like than uh having Arsenal get seeing Arsenal lose to Porto and then. Uh, logging into the, not going on to the football terrace post match to see Gal cry his eyes out. But <laughs> no, nah, I'm just joking. Out there, shout out to Gal. But I think no, nah, they should win. But let's be real. Like Arsenal have, have the better players. They're playing at the Emirates. They seem like this rice Jorginho thing seems to be working very well. So I think I think they should they should win. The only way I think they they they'll struggle is if. Arteta, instead of playing Rice and Jorginho, he's placed Havertz in midfield. Like, if he does that, they're, it's gonna, they're going to struggle. But, see, I think I think Arsenal, for me, they should win. They should get to their quarterfinals. They've done well in the UCL at home, in this current UCL at home. So, let's see, bro. Let's see how it goes. So, Smoko, okay, okay, so who are you going with? Arsenal or FC Porto? Yeah, I'd say, well, let's say 2-0 Arsenal. We'll go through. So easy dub. J two S always said easy dub for 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 for, for the Gunners. I don't think it'll be an easy dub, but they get the dub. I, I want Arsenal to go out, but <laughs> okay, hold up. Why do you want Arsenal to go out? Why? Oh, just for the pure meltdown. Like any fan base to meltdown, Arsenal the best. <laughs> I mean, second to that is Chelsea, obviously. Oh, look, I th- I th- I, th- I think we 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 we'll melt it down. Yeah, to but Chelsea is boring season. now because it happens all the time. So yeah. So. No, the thing is, it's just be funny if Arsenal lose because fam, H H, <laughs> because of the mouth their fans are making. Oh, oh no, 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 it would no, but but, but not. But you see, here, cause here's the thing though: if they lose, they'll just say, "Well, we're still top of the the, the, the league." They would. And, and also, that, let's okay. And also, gotta let's be real. What. A, even if it's weird, see, Arsenal fans should want to win the UCL more because they've never, they've never won that. But ask most Arsenal fans, choose a trophy, Premier League or UCL. Do you know most Arsenal fans will choose the Premier League? I think which, which, which is insane. Think, no, it depends. I know. No, it's not insane. Let me tell you why. The thing is, I am trying to understand this guy's logic, Premier League and um, um, Premier League logic. Like Liverpool, I understood why they wanted to win the Premier League more than the Champions League because... Um, they never wanted to be before. League. I know, the, yeah, because they've not, no, 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 it's because they have won the English well, they've never won it before. as the Premier League, and people kept holding that against yeah, them and, exactly. Ger- and Gerard. So, exactly, they've tested, they've tested English top division, they've not tested the Premier League, mm. just like how Real Madrid wants to win the Super League once it eventually comes. But here's the thing ask now, HH, you've never even if you've never tested a cake, you want to taste something you've tested before. Think about it. They've not tasted the Champions League before, so they don't really understand. They can't fathom a higher evolution of the Premier League. They've no, not, no, I'm, okay, 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 okay. You said though, but wouldn't you want to win? First of all, something you never won before, and literally what? the biggest prize in club football. Because guys, club, you see, guys, the first ignore me. The reason why I don't see Arsenal as a big club is because you've never won the Champions League. I will never, I can never see Arsenal as a big club. You can't be a big club without a Champions League. So you know, surely, you shouldn't know, that, that be the, what you, know, you want the most? You know, you say how they say, how can you like not like something you've never tried it? That's how. I, that's how I see. Oh, no, 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 no. So it's not. It's not only that you've never tried it. Everybody who's tried it says, "Oh no, this is better than that other cake that you used to." So that cake, you know, it tastes nice. So you want to have that taste again? But this other guy say, "Oh, you think that's nice? We've tried that cake. I will try this other cake. This other cake." Is better, and everybody who's had that other kick has said, No, this other kick is even better. H-H, yeah, you're not understanding. 
you are trying to think logically. <laughs> well, I'm trying to try and think as, as like the those as not AFTV people where I'm trying to think like them. Where is the scenario where they are? What do we call Arsenal fans? Deluded, in a sense. So, think of it in their point of view. They want to win the Premier League. Oh, this, this, this is, I'm talking about from a guy that um, said Porto at the English Burnley. And I'm oh, just yeah. looking at them like... <laughs> like, I, I'm tired of trying to understand them in a logical sense. Think of it in their own sense, which is you have to lose a few brain cells, but just imagine it. They want to win the Premier League in their own sense because they've never tasted the Champions League and they just see it as how many times does Robbie say you need luck or you just you have to be lucky to win the cha- Champions League that kind of scenario so in that kind of sense they've never won it they don't understand how to win it but they don't know how to win the Premier League they, because they've done it before I know it's been decades ago that they've done it shout out to Maguire Spider-Man that came out another time but oh, that is when <laughs> that's, that was when they were winning it. So is that kind of, that's what I'm trying to Spider-Man think. Spider-Man Two, about, Jesus Christ! God, but that's what I was <laughs> it's, You see, no, you see, it's funny. Arsenal fans always keep on attacking me. Attack Gatlock. I'm here saying that, bro. <laughs> Arsenal. Okay, I for me, I think. Uh, is he wrong though? Is no, he? it is. It is. The reason why they attack you is because. The tone of your voice is very disrespectful. <laughs> my soul, oh, yeah. get out of here. Yeah. No, no, last year, yeah. last year, you kept on saying, how can you stay a team? Yeah, it's very... Right? When they've not won, it's oh, four. You were trying to beat them. Call them, yeah, it's, very very it's very condescending. It's very condescending. It's very condescending. Okay, 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 you know what? That, that is why I, I apologize. I did that for comedic purposes. I it's, apologize. It's, you call them little bro, dude. I do that, I do that, I do that for to make people... Bro, we live in a very depressing world with a, a lot of depressing things. I'm just here to spread joy. I'm literally just here to spread joy and, and laughter. It's just it out it. of joy and laughter. No, it's it. not. Mark Winnie, it's for joy and no, laughter. It. It okay, okay, no, 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 I believe you can win the UCL. Do I believe you will? I don't know. But I believe you can win the UCL. And but I'm saying when it says that I think Arsenal are one of the outside threats for this Champions League. And Premier League, if you beat City and Armata, they won't anything happen. And let me be clear here. Arsenal are beating FC Porto. There's no reverse jinx. It's no double entendre. Arsenal are the better team. They have more quality. They're at home. They're only one zero down. They'll get the job done. And once Arsenal are in those quarters, then it's then any, anything can happen, bro. Bro, Arsenal, 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 Arsenal fans on Wednesday were saying, you know, bro, Madrid don't look good. Give us them, bro. They're saying it, bro. So, you know. Yeah, they haven't even made this the next round yet, man. This is what I mean to these people. Like, another reason I want to ask I want to see that super chat and say, Arsenal CL winners 25 26. <laughs> no, no. Jets was, he'll oh, just no, keep on moving 25. it. <laughs> Jets he's been moving that thing for three years ago, bro. Like, I say, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, the year keeps on going. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have to keep it, you have to keep it going, man. Every year's gonna change. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. I mean, so look, I mean, 87, what, what are you saying about Arsenal and FC Porto? Yeah, I mean, it, Porto, uh, Arsenal definitely are under a lot of pressure. And for me personally, I think if Porto score first, I think, I don't think Arsenal's gonna, I think it's gonna be. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, sorry, it is. So do you think as do you think Arsenal fans are going to put Arsenal under more pressure for this game or the City game? Arsenal fans. I feel like that's a good question, but I, it's got to be for this game because if Arsenal go out to Porto and the Champions League, it's going to look bad for it's going to look bad um, considering how much Arsenal disrespected Porto and considering <laughs> how it's going to look bad for the English Premier League. And also, you know what's actually interesting, guys? Porto actually have an English player. I think his name is Danny Loader. Imagine he scores against Arsenal. No, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> like, not, that would be funny to knock Arsenal out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I do agree with you guys. Arsenal should advance, but I don't know. I, something tells me that this will be this will be interesting. Like, I this could be I, – I wouldn't count out Porto completely because Porto, as we've seen over the years, they have knocked out teams around 60. I think they – um a few years ago, they knocked out Juventus, I think. And they gave a very good test against Inter last season, Champions League round 16. So, yeah. See, Arsenal can't use Portuguese oppositions two years in a row. They won't. They can't. Mm. 
See, Brad H is right in the chat. See, Arsenal fans count their FA Cups like Real Madrid count their Champions League. <laughs> Is he see it? No, 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 no. Sorry, you're not. No, you're not getting me to clan Arsenal. No, you're not. I'm. Uh, I'm just, too, no, no. All I'm saying that's for Arsenal fans. I just think you shouldn't count w. FA Cups. You should. You shouldn't count uh, FA Cups. Uh, uh, Ichi, I just hope you know the hashtag Play for Porto doesn't go trending on Tuesday. So. <laughs> yeah, I just hope that's. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. You say okay, 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 okay. You say that though. So okay, if Arsenal beats Porto like five one or six one. What do you not say? Nothing. They've, they've shut us off. True, 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 no, true. There's true. nothing. That's what they showed in the first place. That's yeah, what we're that's told. Where, no, 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 no. Okay, come on. Let's be fair here. Let's get, now. As the fans, you know they are deluded and everything, and that was away from home. But if they come in and they beat the living crap out of FC Porto, that like they beat them like six one, like a total breakdown, we'll be like, hey, okay, you've, you've yeah, shown up. Yeah, you did. You yeah, but this is what Liverpool yeah. did. Don't forget, Liverpool, every time they played Porto in the Champions League, they, they smacked him 5 0, 5 1 every single time. Perhaps. And these same Arsenal fans are saying they're better than, Liv than that Liverpool side already. So I expect that from them. If they're going to maintain these standards, I'm going to expect that from them. Um. So, okay, so basically, so does anyone here believe FC Porto will, will go through? I do. Me, me. I do. I okay, okay, okay. Alex and then I'll say, so, Alex, why do you think Porto will go through? Because we will not hold on. I'll wait for Alex. I'll come to Simasi. Alex first, and I'll come to Simasi. Alex, especially because in Europe, wait, yes. okay. you know, and I think Simasi is behind. Simasi, we'll come to you. Let me, I'm calling Alex first and then to Simasi. So, Alex, go for it. Alex, um, for me, I think Porto will go through because if they like execute what they did in the first, like, um, let's say better, like, uh, I think you said this before, like, if they like concede fouls, like in 10 minutes, not let Arsenal to have the ball consistently, like. Like they like to, um, for me, I think, and just frustrate Arsenal in general. I think they could, um, um, get like at least, um, like a no no or scrape through, right? Mm. Um, is Tarami back? I think he was uh, suspended. I don't know if he could, is he eligible to? He was um, injured the first leg, yeah. Um, but for me, um, let's say if. Arteta does something weird with Kai Havertz and like plays him in the midfield. I think he also did that in Porto as well, if I'm not mistaken. Like um, Porto could um, with their uh, midfield, like especially his name's like Varela for Porto. He's a really good midfielder, yeah. So he yeah. could bully him and stuff like that. So um, for me, um, I think Porto could do something. I'm I'm kind of um, basing it off like what Sporting did in the you know, Europa League last season. But again, you could say that. It's Champions League. Like Arsenal would be more, you know, concert, uh, like fully fo focused for the Champions League than in the Europa League. So yeah. Um, and Samasi, why do you think Porto are going to get the Dubinsky? We have seen this. Can you hear me? Yes. We have seen this often before, especially in Europe when they're under pressure, they're forward edge. That's what they do. So I think they're gonna get the goal. Like Declan Rice probably gonna score because he always scores in, in pressure moments. But I think it's gonna be not Pepe. Pepe's gonna score a corner again because Raya is not the greatest uh, greatest goalkeeper out there. I think he's gonna fluff it, and then Arsenal gonna be out of the UCL. So that's my prediction. We, uh, uh, you always say Arsenal it is. Arsenal that's that's the best attack. They have the best defense. They have the best midfield. They make a combined eleven of them in Real and most of well, them. Well, that's possible. That's those are the crazy Arsenal fans. Okay, not not all Arsenal fans are crazy. Those are just the psycho humbled. deluded ones. They need to be humble. Okay, so okay. they're gonna lose. And we we gonna see a meltdown. I've never seen before. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Wait, should I, should I, but it's fair. Um, Portugal teams always test how good a team really is. Look, see, no, I mean, look, Arsenal don't be arrogant because FC Porto and Constitution, they're coming with a game plan. And also, you have to respect, I'm sorry, FC Porto have a UCL. They have European and Champions League heritage. So if Arsenal are arrogant to think that, oh, all we need to do is just appear on the pitch and we'll win, you will be humbled. So trust me, 
be very clear. I think Arsenal will win because I think Arsenal are the, are the better team and their talents will see them through. Make no mistake, if Arsenal are not on their game, FC Porto have a very clear tactical plan to frustrate them and could very easily get like a one-on result. So whatever case, it's going to be exciting. So now, um, Barry, so is a mic walking there, Barry? Yes, sir, yes, sir. 87, is a mic walking? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Good. So here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> when your boy, Walter Mazzari, who's a dinosaur, by the way, well, when he was still in charge, easy dub for, for, for Barca. I say dub for Barca. 1-1, one, one, and that game should have been 4-5-1. Since Mazzari has been sacked and they've brought homeboy to, 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 to come in, Napoli have looked different. New manager bounce. And in that time, you have Pedri's out for the season, pretty much. De Jong is out, By at least, way, long term. Sumasi, we don't care about the Oscars. Sumasi, we don't care about the damn Oscars, please. We don't care about the damn Oscars. Thank you. So, Oscars are up. Okay, but I don't want to So, but, but, but thank you. We, we, we knew that bomb was going to win. Okay, no one cares about bloody 20, 20 bomb break. Shout out to 20, 20, 20 break. So, Barca. I've got to be real with you guys, man. Um... This is good. I th this is now going to be an exciting game. See, I think Arsenal Porto is going to be like Arsenal is trying to break down Porto. This is going to be a very exciting game. I think the best games are going to be this game and the Atleti Inter game. Yeah. I think this game is going to be a very opening. Nah, game. I disagree on the Atleti okay, Inter no, no, game. Okay, okay, we'll get this. So, um, and for me. I can just, I can, I mean, I can see Napoli getting results, man. I can really see Napoli getting results. Like, I just feel that, you know, the, I just feel the better manager, the more experienced manager, the better ta tactician is your boy from Na Napoli. So, Barca have the players. Now, here's the, the thing, though. Yamal has already done, he's already sort of passed everything as a 16-year-old. And I, it's actually, actually feel, it's crazy to, to say this. Barca's best chance of going through is Yamal. The best player on that pitch, the most, okay, rather, the most talented player on that pitch is going to be a freaking 16-year-old. And as crazy as this sounds, if Barca are to go through, I think it comes through that freaking kid. That freaking child. It comes to that guy. So, Barry, talk to me. Where are you at with this whole Napoli Barca thing, man? Oh, man. It's tough, bro. Because when after the first leg, Napoli have been very good, especially Kivara. He's been really decent. And the Barca, we not only we haven't been really, really good since the first leg, but two of our best players, Petri de Jong, got injured. So it's hard for me uh, as a fan to use football metrics and my intellectual to give you a prediction that, yeah, Barca will win necessarily. But the only thing I can give you is that this is our season. Because La Liga yeah. is uh, it's finished. Yes, done. And that's done. When you look at what's gonna happen after this season, Chavi's leaving, and I think the only thing that we can give is um, the will, the will to really give a, a good a departure for Chavi. You know, at least a quarters or not, not a semi. I, I don't think we're gonna make it, but at least a quarters, and just to make sure that he goes off the sunset the right way. That's mm. the only thing I can give you. But for bowling wise. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can give us the edge over Napoli or even when this so, so 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 what is your God telling you that you that you do something or you think Napoli will end Javi's dreams and pass a season? What was, what, was, what was that internal God telling you, bro? My gut feeling tells me that we're gonna win a narrow win just because Barca needed more than Napoli does. Mm. Cause when you look at the way the our season has been going, the injuries, Chavi. Barca needed a bit more, whereas Napoli, I think they're more in a stable position to rebuild, do something great again in the future than Barca current when you look at a both club situation. Uh, 87, what are you saying, bro? Do you, do you have faith in your team on on Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I think we can. I, I I think we could do this, um, but it's going to be uh, tough, obviously, because um, obviously Barca, we haven't really – it's it's sad we have to rely on Yami Lamin Yamal for because like he's probably the best winger we have. Yeah. Because the other wingers are just not prolific when it comes to goal scoring. And yeah, uh Lewandowski was rest over the weekend. Uh, so maybe that's a uh 
So maybe that that will get, make him good. Um, be he'll be match sharp. And yeah, I just think for Barca, uh, Napoli, like they're not really that great on the road. Uh, they now to be fair, they did beat Juventus, which is uh which is pretty mm. impressive. Although to be fair, Juventus has been kind of falling. Yeah, yeah, has yeah, been yeah, underwhelming. Yeah. So yeah, so. I think we will win, uh, but how comfortable will be, I am not sure. So I'll probably say like maybe a two one or three one maybe, but I don't see anything. Oh, so, 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 I believe your boys will get the result for Javi. Yeah, yeah. I, I for me, I don't think we're scoring more than three. I think three is at most. So, uh, J- Jesus, wait, 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 saying, bro. Do, do you think Barca's quality will shine through? You think Napoli are gonna tactically pimp, pimp them out? Uh, I, I'm supporting Napoli. Because I want to see you eat a calzone live on stream. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have the oh, receipts. God. We have the receipts. Fine. Okay, so, <laughs> make sure to find one tomorrow, man. Make sure to find one tomorrow. Yeah, I'll find one. I'll try to find one. Try to... No, 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 Bessie. Um, if they win, the Bessie, I'll eat a calzone for the Wednesday stream. Oh, no, no, on the Wednesday stream, I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Wait, why did I commit to that crap? Okay, continue, continue. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Barcelona, they're such a weird side this season because if there's no Yamal, there's no party. That's simply the way to put Barcelona because even the midfield options, there's no De Jong, there's no Pedri, so there's no Gavi either. So you're looking at Fermin Lopez, Gundogan, and then hope oh, you can see Christian, Christensen at DM. Or is it oh, going wow. to be the serial killer? Because they can't be playing the serial killer. I'm sorry. It's going to be Christensen. Yeah, because I've seen a stat. Man. Yeah, I've seen a stat. In the last seven games, Christensen's played as a DM. They've only conceded six goals. But in the previous seven games before then, they conceded 16. So, Ooh, wow. There's clearly something happening. Like, Javi's found something that works. It's, it's functional to a degree. Like, they've been getting results. But, yeah. Napoli. They've turned about a bit of form. I know Kavara and uh, Osman, they've been showing up recently. Like, uh, since AFCON, Osman's a completely different player. But I don't know what it is. Maybe it is, maybe it is the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No sun, no sun. No sun sucks. Oh, Lord. But uh, Barcelona don't have a good record at this Olympic Stadium. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Napoli go through because. So, so, so you're saying that Spotify and Drake hasn't been helping them? Oh, uh, no, no. No, clearly not because there's they're what they're eight points off Real Madrid in the league. Oh, that's ridiculous at this stage. And then this Napoli side, the one you played uh, the first time around, they weren't good, and yet they still went out with a one-one draw. Like Barcelona still. Went out, like, I think 4-1. for me, I think that the reason why it's they really messed with that first because they should they should have won that because if they had come in they're winning that then it'd be great but look because it's weird it's about context one one is actually a good result if you play the first leg away from home but when you look at the context of the game that should have been an easy three one yeah. dub for Barca. Exactly. Easy. Yeah. yeah yeah that Carl Zoni dude was only there for 48 hours or 24 hours before that yeah. game yeah so it just shows you but now they've actually built something like something functional, reasonable to actually compete with Barcelona because Barcelona are on the great side. This isn't a Barcelona at all. This is a Barcelona that's been grouped twice in the past two years. This Barcelona are not what they used to be. And then you got to look at all the injuries they've got. And then they've got a manager that's leaving because he's been targeted by the press, etc. He can't deal with the pressure. Yeah. So I think you're looking at their attacker, like Lewandowski. Uh, yeah, I know he won La Liga Player of the Month, but that's a purple patch because he's been trash for most of this season. Is Jao Felix going to turn up? I don't think he is. He's a purple. He's another purple patch. No, I'm sorry. No, I forgot about that. He was the worst player uh, against uh, Mallorca the other day. He was the worst attacker, the worst player. Who is he? Where is the purple patch? Yo, if you're it's, someone who's like it's, president of the player, you, you haven't been very active on him. Yeah, yeah no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Barry, Barry, uh, no, 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 what's this called? Like, to... the police have surrounded the building, so we can't get into the building no, at the no, moment. No. So, Barry, Barry, I'm going to paraphrase what HH himself said. Jao Felix FC is just a few people are trying to keep the lights on. I mean, the whole look, reason look, we talk, uh, look, we talk, look, okay, fine. I have, I, I have called off Felix FC. I've called yeah. off just a bit. I've called off just I mean, a bit. I was told in the summer that him moving from Atletico to Barcelona would 
make his career better because they play more attacking football. Yet he's put in some trash performances, some of the worst. Like he, people, I, I, we still don't know what he is. Okay, how do we know Jesus, what he is? What if he balls at the Euros? What if he balls at the Euros? Oh did, no! Has he ever balled in any oh, such Hell no. Okay, but keep, it, if he bought the Euros, now what? Do we do, do we do Wait, not yeah. say sorry uh, if he bought the Euros? You keep moving yeah. this further and further. Like, hey, if he bought the I'll keep moving our goalposts if because of the Euros. Okay, okay. If, okay. Next, if, if you're the president of yeah, okay. what, what we do? This is, this is how play FC works. Play, this is how play FC works. Play FC works where you keep making excuses. That's the whole point of, of being if a you, president of play FC. If you're player FC, why are you calling yourself the goal football analysis? Why are we doing... Oh, no, no, no. no. Those are two different people. Why are we doing these ifs and buts? Like, if you had hair, you wouldn't be it's here it's on YouTube. Personality. I actually have a beard. Some hair is actually growing up, actually. So. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, in a different reality, there is. But <laughs> that's not enough for a comb, so I don't know what it is. Okay, okay, no, no. Okay, this is a warning to the panel and to the streets. All your haters, don't let Felix score, score the winning goal. Don't. Oh. Just, just don't. And it, don't and let Felix... No, 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 he no. Jay Swiss, his... Cr- Jay Swiss, his crap, his garbage, he's useless. He he watches... He like, f- Fine. All this is true. Don't let him score the winning goal. Just, just don't. Because no, he's no, garbage. No, he's he's a bomb. No, no, I'm going to... Bro, I'm going to induct him. I'm, he's he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna put into Class C. No, no. But he's going to put in does, Class C. If, no, no. But if he does score, what does that even <laughs> mean for the context of Barcelona <laughs> season? Jay Swiss, I'm just saying don't let him... No, no. Just say don't let him... Because... Jesus, then I'll be shameless. If because you based on the look. abuse you've given him, basically he, he you you can't allow him to, to to ball or score the winning goal or two. Because if you do that, you guys will look really bad. You guys and all you guys in the streets. No, you look bad. We, no, no, no. Because when he scored against Atletico Madrid, James West, you can't season, you can't have a ball. No, no, no. no, no. no. James West, you can't saw, insult him and call him a bomber. Then no, he's, no, he and then he he scores and he 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 comes clutch in a in a useful knock game. He can't be both ways because James West, the way you are saying, he best not do anything. The knockouts, and if he does anything, it's a disaster class. That's how it works. Don't let him come clutch on Tuesday. Don't. That's what I'm saying. Don't let him come clutch on Tuesday. Streets, you've been warned. Streets, you filthy, okay. stinky losers no, no, in the okay. streets, you've been warned. Okay. Don't let him come okay. clutch on Tuesday. No, no, okay. but in 2021, he came clutch against United, but he didn't do anything for the rest of the tournament. So, what are we even saying? What? Because they're going to get to the quarterfinals. What if he doesn't show up in the quarterfinals? Oh, but he'll be performing against. A trash Napoli side who are sitting eighth or seventh in Syria. Are we really doing this? And we, if I, if your mask scores the winner and Felix is still on that pitch and he gets <laughs> subbed off, we're gonna be here. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no! Look, here's my thing right now. Okay, James was to make you happy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna induct him to class here tonight. And if he drops a disaster class on Tuesday, I'm gonna bump him up to, to, to class B. Happy now? There you go. He so there you go. Been, so, so guys, yeah. thanks. So because of J2S and all of you filthy ticket haters, um, Felix is going to be inducted 9 a.m. sharp tomorrow into Class C, the Brick Academy. If he does nothing on I Tuesday, he'll is. be bumped up to, to Class B. I on the we will be there. We will be there. I on the that still doesn't change his IT score, though. I have to let oh, my go God. Also. Really? Wait, can, can I wait, 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 wait. Your IT score has nothing to do with your form. No, no, no. I test is different from 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 form. So his oh, wait, I test score is still the same. Well, well, what is I test score? Functional. Like, well, well, what is I test score? Because I swear. AK, what is relax. You test? don't need to know. Hmm? Can I, ask uh, you no, I want to know his I test score, bro. What? Yeah, what is his I test score? If it, no. AK, no, if we are talking about Barca wait, and Napoli. Let's focus, okay? Wait, if it's it's we have we have a professional job to do as a panel. We need to be professional here. So, Gatlock, let's let's stay professional. So, Gatlock, Barca and Napoli. What do you say? Okay, okay. Um, Siri, can you shut the f- sorry? God, look, continue, continue. So, Barca Napoli, <clears throat> how many yeah. players do Barca have out? Pedri and De Young, is that Frankie, one? Gavi, Gavi. Oh, yeah, Gavi. Yeah, uh, I don't know if well. Torres is touching guy as well. So, what's going to be assessing them? Um, Lewandowski, Felix, and Yama. Oh boy. Um, so like midfield is going to be like Gundogan. Can they can they call up Iniesta? Okay. Can they call up Iniesta? Nah, nah, nah. He's enjoying it. Or, like or Busquets. Come on, it's, it's, it's one game. Emergency tax. He's emergency in tax. In, um, Iniesta he's and, and, and Busquets. He's in Let him enjoy Miami. Let him enjoy Miami. Hold on. I can see yeah. this game going to... I can see this game probably going to extra time. Um, I, Because I don't trust that vigilante up top for Napoli. Get with the mask. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> no, hold up. <laughs> you know what? Edit. Then... So what? So you're now calling him the Nigerian Green Hornet? <laughs> no, no, because he, he, like you said, H.A., the guy is something else for Nigeria. So, yeah. Uh, I don't... If the guy turns up, then I don't know. I don't, I don't trust that guy. I honestly don't. I, I see Barca. Look, Campion is too much of a big place for them to lose there. I know I know they've not really, you know, been that great, but Campion is still Campion, or the Spotify Campion, whatever it's called now. I don't see them losing in front of their fans like that. They don't, they don't get embarrassed. At least extra time penalties. I don't see Napoli beating them. Oh, God, look, we're not even playing in Camp Nou. Yeah, we're playing in the Stadium. Plus yeah. our homework is... It's not from Camp Nou. It's back, Montjuic. It's back, Montjuic. It's not Camp Nou. Oh. Olympics, uh, Olympic Stadium. Um, re rebuild tax, rebuild tax. Reconstruction uh, tax. That, that's unfortunate. Um, still got big capacity in Sanford Bridge. Okay, then I don't know. I don't know. It's a better I, stadium I than Sanford Bridge. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> I need to go to... Yeah, you go, Barry, go for it. Yeah, you see how you're saying, like, uh, if uh, Joe Felix, if he flops, you're going to put him class A, right? No, 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 Barry, he's, he's going to flop, he's going to flop, you know, he's his class C, he's class no, C, yeah, no, what do no, you say? If in a billion, one in a billion cases, if he scores a winner, where are you going to put him? In the tier? Oh, no, H is going to be so <laughs> insufferable. Where, where are you Barry. going to put him? No, 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 Barry, as as a wise man once said, we'll cross that bridge when, when we get there, if we get there, no, sorry. As one said, we'll cross out the bridge if we get the Barry, I'm expecting him to drop a disaster class. No, 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 no. Barry, he's a, Barry, he's, he's a classy brick bomb. I expect him to drop a disaster. Can, so, can I, Barry, he, Barry, 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 either, no, Barry, either he doesn't play a single minute or when he plays, he's, he, he performs a disaster class. That's what I expect. But if you have, he's if he's if a you bomb. Have, can, can, can I have a hint on the ranking? No. No, Barry. <laughs> oh, Barry, Barry, HH is what, so shameless. Up? That if it was Jao Felix that gave that assist to Messi in 2011, now that Busquets did for Messi. <laughs> no, 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 See, I think I think Barca have enough to beat Napoli, but I mean, I, I need I need Claude Schelia to turn up because we already know that bum up top isn't going to do anything. So um, I th I think Claude Schelia has a big role to play in this game. I think for Barcelona, I think Yamal, he need I think he'll have a big role to play in this game. If I mean Yamal, this might be the tie that Yamal like announces himself to Europe. And if he does that, that, that might be big. So I think, personally, I think Barcelona have enough to get it done. I think they'll win. It's going to be a difficult, like, grinding victory. I think they'll probably win, like, 2-1. But they, they, they'll have, at the end of the day, they'll somehow, some way, get to the quarterfinals. That's what I think. Um, let me quickly hear this Dubinsky's man. So shout out to your boy, um, where he um, Abrisfer. Syria is currently in first for the fifth... Yeah, bro. Have you been seeing this whole like co coefficient points? How the hell are, are Syria so high? Oh, they're, they're, I don't. I don't think any of their teams have been eliminated yet. La yeah, last the year, yeah. there's been competition. I, I last every year, Syria year. team is still wait, 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 in wait, wait, so, so, how, so how many Syria? So so both. So we have two in Champions League. How many in yeah. Europa League? The, it just means fifth. Fifth will go to Champions. Yeah, we have uh, we have two in Euro, uh, Europa six, League. I think. Six, Six and okay. seven will go to Europa League, then eight will go yeah, to Yeah, and then conference. the other one, I guess, places. So basically, 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 all I'm saying though is that all the, all your those mafia insults should start stopping right now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> all right. It, this, it, this, it, this 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 is no this is no longer oh, Vito Colione. Oh, oh. um, only Lazio have gone league. out. Yeah. Only Lazio have gone yeah. out. Though, though. Yeah. At the yeah. moment, it's yeah, Syria. Is... It's Syria and Bundesliga getting the extra spots at the moment. And what about Winston Churchill? Thanks yeah. to the United. Except Liverpool. No, no, it's United but, and Newcastle. They both got grouped. Yeah, and it, yeah. and and let's not forget what Roma did to Brighton. Oh yeah. wow. Oh, yeah, that's okay, so 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 shout out to Yasin Brahim. Um HH dancing on a grave after the cement breaks. Okay, let's let's do this right now. Now, Gatlock and me and Gatlock will will be on this right now. Gatlock, I will join you. So Gatlock, I'm gonna make a pledge. If Osime drops like a brace or he is p 
pivotal in Okinawa's Barca, I'll give him his, his kudos. And I'll do approximately 20 seconds of shamelessness. So you guys can time me. I'm, I'm writing contracts. I will give him 20 seconds of praise. Afterwards, I'll be like, when is he do that for green, green, what's and green? So I'm going to stand on business. And Gatlock is my witness here. I will stand on business. If Osime is definitive, I will give him 20 seconds of praise. And the rest I'll say, when is you, when is you do this for your country? Why are you doing this for your colonial masters? No, and no, I'll, no, and, no, and I'll keep no, it real. No, do, do, no, do you know why that's for Gazi? I remember why? that stream. I remember that, that that first leg stream. You were doing so much glazing and twerking for just a no, simple ass goal. Yes, Barry, one, week, yes, one week. Barry, one week I said, that's one, all right. One, that's well done. One week. It was 10, ten days after the AFCON final. It was 10 days after the AFCON final. 10 oh, days. Okay, well, okay, well, well Barry, I'm going to triple down and say I will not be shameless. If it was me now, if there's Phoenix no does his thing, because see, <laughs> there's 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 not been a much more vilified footballer in the last twenty years than Jao Felix. He's been the most vilified what player. Mean, what do you mean vilified? What do you mean vilified? I don't know. Oh. Unjustly vilified. Unjustly wait, 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 vilified. Why is he unjustly vilified? No, unjustly he, vilified. He, he kept his, he kept a girlfriend who cheated on him three okay, times. Okay, you know what? Oh. Yasin Ibrahim. Yasin Ibrahim. Okay, we have the worst goalkeeper for big moments. Terry Stripper. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh yeah, that that, that <laughs> might be a, that I might have to admit. These streets are very creative, man. That, that, um, that, that well, might be a fact. Yes, that might be a fact. creative, but still very thing. Look, see, my thing is that look, but I'll be real with you. Barcelona play. I actually have no idea. Barcelona should win. They're the better team, but I'll be real with you. I have no idea because I could easily see like Barcelona screwing up, missing a whole bunch of chances, and not saying what's up. But I'll be real with you. I want to see how far, like for me, Lamini Yamal, he's, he's one of, currently he's one of my, my favorite players right now. So I'm like objectively speaking, but because I want to just see what Yamal does in this, I'm like, fine. Now, Yamal, he ain't going to be do better than your boy Mbappe as if it's in who's scored in every single knockouts game in the U.S. It is what it is. But still, um, it could get real. But guys, I'm keeping right now. Felix is a bomb and bricks don't ball in use. Because I can see, guys, you can't have the ball both ways. He can't be a bomb and be critical in a UCL knockout. That's not how it works. Like you saw Tim Avena, Tim Avena tried to oh. sacrifice. So Tim Avena tried to jeopardize a uh, freaking UCL. That's what bombs do. They try to jeopardize victories. Is Sergio better? Better. Yeah, Sergio better. Yeah, Sergio better scored a critical goal. He scored the safe goal. The most clutch goal. In 2017. Bro, that's like once in a blue moon, bro. Like that's that, yes, that's, that's, Felix. that's an anomaly. That's anomaly. No, 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 no. Come on. Are we really comparing Jeff Felix to Sergio Reyes? Is that what we're doing right now? Really? I mean, well, it, when you look at their careers, who's had more clutch moments? Sergio who's Roberto. more talented? Who's who's so far. who's who's worth more money? Talent money makes the world go round. Man. I mean, Felix is mentality. Um, Corvin eighteen reports say gosh. Roberto might play a lot. Stop it. Oh my if God. I, if I see Sergio Roberto starting on, on, on that page, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a nuclear my TV screen, bro. You know, no, no, you know, I, I, maybe that's maybe that's just was, just was was one imagine this scenario. That, yeah, imagine this scenario. Yeah, Felix flops, Roberto scores the winner. Hey, oh, we're gonna be there for Oh that. my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a gut look. That just shows that they're very sick because that's actually a very sick thing to say, bro. Like that's a really sick thing to say. Like Gatlo, why why even say that? Like why why say that? Bro, is 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 it nice? Is it nice? You know? No, it, nice no, it's not. Take. That's 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 a horrible scenario. <laughs> that's a well, horrible you, scenario. Actually, you know what? You know what's even better? What if Jared Felix gets subbed on? They bring on Roberto, and then he scores the goal. Or Felix oh, is on that God. bench. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but, but you know, Roberto. You know, I've never known a guy who's been living off one goal for his entire career. That's crazy. This guy, he's, the only thing he's done in his entire career was to score that one goal. This guy's got that one freaking goal, man. Guys, look, but it's been so much. Remember, guys, Monday, members hang out. Wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, you see. My team. My team is playing no, as well. No, 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 Inter, Atleti, no. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> look, yes, okay, look, you know what? Okay, you hold up, hold up, hold up. I can understand um, you forgetting PSG. Okay, look, okay, I'll drop, I'll drop the brick. I'll drop the brick, man. Hold on, where's that brick? 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 All right, also sooner I then. I understand you forgetting PSV and Dortmund, but come on, Inter and Atleti. No, 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 no. Let, 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 let. So, so Osuna, look with two, will will look with two years lead you to the promised land? 
against Luke. Dortmund, 1-1. One, one. Well, it's not up to him, really, because he's fine. It's the rest of the damn team that's completely out of form. Like, we are drawing at home to Feyenoord. We can barely beat the go-ahead Eagles. Um, Dortmund me. are... Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, we can barely beat these guys. Oh, but well, we're pretty sure they're still on unbeaten. Wow. Oh, yeah, no, we're still unbeaten, but... We've drawn three of our last six games, I think, in the area of Divisi. We no, drew no, against... Go ahead, Dor- Eagles. Is clean. Yeah, go ahead, Eagles. I, I think they're still in the top the top half of the area. Yeah, they're seven, go, they're go seven. for them. Yes, exactly. The um, but the mean. thing is, Lozano is a problem. This guy is a problem. He was a... He pulled off a Dembele performance, but without any of the tech. So he just had no brains and no tech. So he was basically just useless. So, so I'm just I'm saying that what is happening in that cycle? Like, do you believe that you will knock out Dortmund away in their in their in their fortress? It really depends on whether our attackers get their shit together. It really depends on whether they make the right decisions. And if they do, it should be easy because this Dortmund defense is trash. We got at them. We had opportunities to make the final ball multiple times in that match, and we just didn't because we don't have great decision makers. But Dortmund can be very easily opened up. These guys are trash in defense. As long as we do that, these guys don't really know how to attack either. We'll score a couple goals as long as you make the right decision. We, they're not going to score a lot of goals. However, if Lozano plays like he did last game, if Bakayoko plays like he did last game, we're out. We're not scoring a single goal and we lose 2 0 in itself. Um, AK, what are you saying? PSV or Dortmund? Uh, I think Dortmund, man. I think they'll, they'll, they'll take care of them at home, I'll be low. I, I don't think PSV have the minerals. To, the jo- I mean, wait, you mean they don't have the Johnny Minerals? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think they have the. I don't think. I don't think they can. I don't think they can. You know, adjust to the grind, man. I think Dortmund. Are, and also, Dortmund that's a tough place to go to, especially home. for someone like like that. Like so you're saying Dortmund get the job yeah, done? Yeah, and um, I, 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 I'll be real. Also, sooner Netherlands is a very nice country, but I'm not taking the Eredivisie seriously, man. I'm sorry. No, you shouldn't. The league is a joke. But real quick, so if wait, wait, hold on. Let, let, let me just explain the scenario. So if Dortmund. Um, win the UCL, should we forgive them for what they did last season in the Bundesliga? Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. Course, if they win it, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I just want to... No, 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 come on, guys. Then the Chelsea win goes up. <laughs> I, I, I just want to, you know, expand <laughs> a bit on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, guys. Here's, okay, here's... A, no, no, no. So let me play the scenario. So, depending on what on how PSG go out, Depending on how PSG got, if Dortmund win the UCL and if PSG got in a normal way against a normal team, <laughs> then I'll put up the, the Chelsea uh, win. I, I have a question. Yeah. Hey. I have a question about this. Yeah, what's the go? Okay, go for it. What happens to Central fanboys if Dortmund wins the UCL and Jaden Central somehow some miraculously oh does something? Oh my some- god. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, oh, okay. if that happens. Crazy. No, no, no. no see, see. Crazy. Okay, if that happens. It, um, Rance will visit the same guy that Michael Jackson went to, and he'll become light skinned. <laughs> that's that's what's gonna happen. So 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 so, so basically, Rance will basically Rance will do a Sammy Sosa. Yeah. yeah. So. You know, and also, guys, don't don't Google Sammy Sosa unless you want to be freaked out, bro. So no, no, but see, that's my thing. Do, the only way Dortmund I can forgive, because for me, I'll never forgive Dortmund for what they did their last season. <laughs> the only way I will forgive them is if they win the UCL. And guys, how funny would that be if for... I think they don't have a chance in hell of winning it. But if somehow <laughs> they win the UCL, all right. You know what? Yeah, I so, forgive you. So, it so is. Dortmund are, you know, so in, Dortmund in, have another well, UCL. Yeah, so but that that that'd be two to use skills for those guys because yeah, when they won it in ninety seven, Matias Sama. Can I just <laughs> put my thoughts on into Atlético and I need to leave? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. We'll leave. We'll be switching now. So let me let's switch to Insta, so because we because we need to drop off now. So Insta Atlético, okay, go for it. Yeah, uh, I apologize to the um, Atlético loan fans. I think I think Inter will take care of Atlético in this leg. So do think so? Do so you think this goes the distance to, 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 to penalties? No, because bro, these Atleti lost to Cadiz in the weekend, bro. Speak of right? Cadiz. Bro. Uh, I mean, Cadiz. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so no wait, no, no, no. They haven't won a game since September 2023. Oh shit! The 18th. Yeah. They haven't so, won a game yeah. since September 2023, man. 
Cadiz yeah, so wait, wait, think... where are, wait, where are Lugo, though? Yeah, continue, continue. Yeah, so the problem there is Lugo they don't have... Gris- I think they're in a relegation zone as well. <laughs> I, I don't think, you know, Griezmann is back for this game. I don't know. I don't think Griezmann is playing. Oh, so... oh there, there's no Griezmann? Yeah, there's no Griezmann. He's, oh, he's in training. No Griezmann, no party. Yeah, after, after, uh, wow! After all that talk in the group stage, wait, like, wait, let's probably hopefully. Where's the where's gymnastic? <laughs> look, I'm I'm I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying I'm trying to look for Ibiza, bro. Um, so wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Um, AK, um, so AK, so you're saying, sorry, AK, so you're saying that's definitely Inter. Yeah, because get it done bro, in ninety. Well, look at Inter's form where, since that, like you, UCL game as well. But they they just keep winning somehow, somehow, somehow. They're scoring goals. They're not conceding anything. Bro, we can make a serious argument that Inter are the best team in the world at the moment. That's how good they are. Relax. A serious argument you can make that and. It's not like not it's not like a bad argument. So I think I think Inter will take care of business. I think Atleti will. I, I think Atleti will. I think Inter will win like two 0 I think Atleti won't. I don't think Atleti have a chance. I'll be real, because I just don't think they're, they're not in great form. And Inter are just smoking everybody at the moment. Um. So do do does everyone agree with AK that um inter smoke athletic do you think athletic yeah, can say what's yeah, up yes yes yeah i think it's over yeah. i think i think inter uh, wins yeah. comfortably see for me i think it'll be be, i think if Griezmann is. doesn't play then yeah it's looking because inter look then it's looking it's looking a bit dicey but i think look man remember athletic are at home and they only won zero down and they only won zero down you see inter yeah. should be favorite still like i would put my money on inter going to to to, to go through but like basically in the UCL, you can you, you can just never know you never know, bro. You never know. You know. No, um, I think it's over. Oh, so so, so just, why do you think it's over? Uh, well, I, I saw a stat somewhere. I think Inter won thirteen games in a row. Won thirteen in a row, which is ridiculous. And then you got Atleti on the other hand, who gave Cadiz the first win since September twenty twenty three. See, this is it's, and then even when the fans went, I mean, the players went to the fans at Cadiz they started clapping the fans and then the, the fans like you said get the fuck out of here oh wow so yeah it just shows you where they are so it's so, 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 so basically things are a peak yeah and then if there's no Griezmann there is no attack like are we relying on the Dutch Drake and Morata up front is that what is that what it's going to be like because then for, 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 me, I, for me I said look look Insa are heavy favourites but I still say that have hope that's what I say I said like, anything can happen in the UCL yeah, but they're they're not... Not... Because this way, Morata could drop a three piece. Uh, He's not dropping a three piece at like Griezmann. He needs Griezmann. No, no, it is. It mm. is. He, the thing is, I can see a scenario where we 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 get the other side of Lataro and um you just see see them missing chances and they are let's score and he goes to penalties. I told you bad Lataro. Then... Okay, thank you. Bad Lataro could, could show where he's just missing, missing, missing. Athletic get like a set piece. 1-1, one, one, it goes to penalties and then penalties, it's a gamble. So my thing though is that it's true. It's if good Lataro shows up, oh, it's lights over done. If bad Lataro show, shows up and they're missing 1v1s, open goals and skying from two yards away, then what are we saying? So, Samasi, so for your parents' club, um, Atleti, what are you, what are you saying? Atleti or Orinza? Samasi? So it depends which uh, Lataro shows up, seriously. If he puts it, we may have a shit. But we have been we have been horrible since the last two months we have been horrible football. Like Griezmann is injured so I don't think he's gonna start. So we we need a lot of luck. Inter is so good, they're lubricating the league. They're no, you they don't score a lot of goals, but if they score, it's over. If they score, they're not really conceding any goals or any shots. The defense, the midfield is great. The defense is one of the best defense I've seen in recent years. So it's going to be hard to get that. So I think it's going to be a draw on Inter and going through. Um, 87, what is what saying? Inter or Classy? It's a difficult one because Atleti have been underwhelming this year. Um, after they lost, uh, after they lost the first leg, I think they only won two games. But 
I, I, I don't know. I feel like Atletico can do something in Champions League because they've been pretty good at home. Okay, 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 but is that with or without Griezmann? Uh, it's a tricky one because I, I think J2 is, I think Griezmann's in training, I think, so he might make it back. Yeah. I think I think what is, will probably happen is Griezmann will come off the bench. I don't think he'll start. So um, that uh, might be the go. And I think for Atletico, what they're going to do is try to get a set piece, an early goal, and they're going to, I think they're going to push to penalties. And Oh, wow. Yeah. I will say this: If Inter score first, it's over for Atletico. Oh no, no, for sure, it's over. It's done. Like if Inter score first, then yeah, it's done. It's done. Atleti have to score first. They have to score first, guys. It's been real. It's been so. Remember, guys. Monday members hangouts. Tuesday, Wednesday, that UCL baby. I'll see you on the members hangouts on Monday. One love. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.